everyone, and welcome uh, to Storm King's Thunder Big Boy Season. Big Boy. Episode 28 of our Storm King's Thunder campaign set in the Forgotten Realms with our lovely esports folk. That's what I'm calling you now. That's that's what we're Stop. doing. Yeah. Esports folk. Folk. Damn, uh, damn there, I am. Oh wow, my camera's all fucked up, y'all. Look at this shit. Okay, well, I'll fix it later. I'll fix it in post. Um, yeah. So we are back with um, this, and uh, as always, I am you know Matthew Foreman. Uh, I'll be your dungeon master tonight, and uh, we can introduce our players. We're gonna keep doing the free form introduction. Hello, just, my okay, name's great. Tom. <laughs> really free form, actually. Okay. Uh, I play Kaiser. Drow fighter level eight. I also play here at this time, like three minutes ago. Um, I play Kaiser, Drow fighter. Cast can go next. Wow, can I? All right. So, um, hello, I'm Casanova. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Casanova Hots. I play Lucius Cavalieri's the human bard who is a uh, now recently been turned into a revenant, and um, it's going through a lot. But yeah, go ahead, um, Crowen. Oh, uh, hello. My name is Crowen. Uh, I play TFT a lot. Uh, been a lot of fun with the new set grind. Uh, I stole a phase comp and climbed with it. Smile. Um, yep. <laughs> but yeah, today I'll be playing Zane Korakai, the tiefling sorcerer from Mirror Bar, and excited to uh, slay some slay some big boys potentially, maybe. Big boys. Hi, I'm May. Uh, I play Alyssa Seleniari and Asimar Druid, who is 16 years old. Um, and you can find me here on Dice Priori at 7.30 p.m. PT on Fridays. Uh, hello, I'm Faye. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at It's Faye Bay, where I do everything TFT. I was not here last week, but I am back this week in time to fight some big boys. I'm playing Aubrey Harper, the human artificer. True. Uh, not a drow fighter. Is that everyone? Uh, yeah, I think so. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And then I am, of course, Matthew Foreman. I am a Dungeons & Dragons content creator here on Dice Priori. I run this show. And I run our homebrew mage punk campaign set in my world of Edda uh, called The Ghost of the Machine on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Central. Um, <laughs> lordy, lordy. Um, so when we last left our heroes, they had just uh, been through quite an ordeal after fleeing from the giant temple of the Eye of the Allfather, receiving uh, prophetic messages and the answers to several of their questions. Uh, Lucius turned around and touched a grenade left to him by Copperhead. It exploded. He didn't know it was a grenade. It was a silver object. It exploded in a wreath of fire, knocking him down and into a ravine where he eventually met his end. Um, being far in the north with no access to revivify and far too far away for uh, to a friendly city that could possibly cast raise dead a desperate times caused called for desperate measures and Alyssa reached out to her fey folk being so far north trapped in the icy mountains only the cold lady of winter could answer her call and she imparted on to Lucius a chance to come back in as a fey undead revenant um, and gave to him three names. Imrith. I always want to call her Avantika Anavet. Anavet, Dra uh, Kaiser's mother. And. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're doing it. You'll get yeah. there. You'll yeah. get there. Oh, fuck me. I've, I've, it's been a week. It's been yeah, a with an M. Uh, I don't remember. Who's the third? Maya. Thank Maya. you. Fuck me. I, you were doing so good. I was like slaying it, and then it was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Right. 
And then Maya, and then, so then they traveled and met with Anavet, and she gave them the ability to control the Vonadad and revealed herself not to be a drow of Wolf, but a fighter for the light in her own very severe and difficult way. She is trying to protect her son from another war. Uh, cruel and difficult as she may be, she is trying to do the right thing. And then they uh, traveled to Everlund, where they gambled chatted a little bit and uh, Lucius told to tell the Ar- and told the archmage to tell his father that Lucius was dead which is technically true um, and then they transport via plants to a griffin outpost to get some griffins oh well, hippogriffs uh, only to find it under siege by some giant folk <sighs> comprehensive yeah yeah true. true true and that is where we will pick up in the action folks. Um, oh, and we do have a subscriber goal and a follower goal above me. So uh, make sure to enter our follower giveaway and make sure to uh, subscribe if you'd like to. Every subscription or resubscription or gifted sub gets us close to our goal. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. And now the fight begins. Go ahead and roll initiative, folks. What do you have your dice, though? I heard my name. Do you have, do you have your dice, though? I don't. You <laughs> fucked me up. Fucked me up. Oh, yeah. no. I'll ask this, because Matt can still hear me. Yeah, what? <clears throat> it, did, you, did you look through the new book yet, Wild Mound? I, I did, why? What's up? Wild Mound. Is that what it's called? Yeah, no, why? that's what you said. Wild Mound? What's the, what's the question, Tiger? Uh, well, basically, uh, there is a uh, haunted one uh, race thing in there that I think could be cool if you don't have an idea yet for Lucius. Yeah, I saw that. It is cool. I think I have a little bit more in mind, but I think that might be a good basis. Smile. Okay. Just in case you didn't see it, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Very cool, I thought huh? I thought it was very like, oh, hey, it could be Lucius. And that was interesting. Um, yeah, okay. <sighs> Gotta get all my fucking dice. Uh, okay. So let's see if y'all rolled into your tokens or not. No, but we I didn't. But I, I, I love you all. Any, I love you all anyway. Zane? I waited. I'm not nine. Aubrey, trolling. Uh, eleven. Trolling. Kaiser Permanente. Twenty-four. I did it. I think. That's We're not trolling. Rolling. Uh, Lucius. Nine. Okay, Alyssa. Four. Thanks. And let me know about the volume levels in chat, folk, with the background music compared to our voices. Hey, top of the initiative, Hello. Kaiser. Hello. Okay, well, not much I can do from here, so I will just... Seeing all this happening in front of me, I will use my... Um, my bonus action to use Commander Strike for Aubrey. You strike at the Fire Giant. Okay. So you attack, Faye. Uh, uh, which one is Fire Giant? Is that the one in front of us? The guy looks like uh, Gammon, yeah. Get, he, they sure do. <laughs> eight, eight, 80 feet away. Yeah. You got him. Yeah, that's range. Is, that, is this like an elevation? Are we above them? Are they above us? Uh, you are above oh, them. They're below. They're below us. Okay. Probably, if I'm reading this elevation correctly. Yep. Oh, yeah, this character has a ridiculous plus to hit. There are what dice. I... That is a thing that you did, and you did hit. And you add seven damage, because that's what I rolled. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, so, 15 total. 15? What kind of what kind of damage is it? Just all piercing? Yep. Okay, thank you. <sighs> so, um... Kaiser, that's your... One of your attacks? One of my actions. I can't do it again because it calls my bonus action. Okay. So I will just move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 30. There we go. Who'd you hear? So I assume it goes like kind of like, like this right here. If you can see me pinging, it's like a way down, I assume. Yeah, it is. It's not treacherous or anything. That's exactly okay. what that is. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. So I will move towards that to move downward. That's the end of my turn. 
Okay, thank you. So you immediately, with the war honed reflexes that you have, well, the the, the uh, trained honed reflexes that you have, call to Aubrey to fire a shot. And like uh, Sarah Connor in the Terminator, she very quickly raises her shotgun, which is just a crossbow, and fires a shot into the giant. And you get his attention. It sticks him and finds purchase past his massive armor through his thick skin. And he starts to turn very slowly. Uh, oh, yeah. Can I do anything yet? Uh, far away, and this this is uh, during daylight, so y'all can see there's no vision issues. Um, but of course, distance might become an issue. On one of the backs of the hippogriff, uh, on a hippogriff uh, to the east, I'll bring this into focus. There we go. Um, is a man with a dark skin, and um, I believe those are dreadlocks, and a kind of a fur coat. He's holding a hand crossbow in one hand and a short sword in the other, and he fires the uh, crossbow at the cloud giant that is taunting him uh, he does I believe miss oh, I should just be rolling with their sheets <clears throat> uh, he does miss it fires wide <sighs> and then he says we gotta he, he looks back to this woman uh, with a dark skin glasses and a beehive silvery hair wearing wizard robes holding a staff in midair and flying on a griffin which is a, a, a basically a better version of a hippogriff <laughs> um he says, we gotta get out of here. This is this is looking grim. And um, he is going to fly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, no, he, he's smarter than that. He's not gonna go towards the Oni. He's gonna go over there. 30, and I believe a hippogriff speed is 40. Oh shit, it's 60, hello. 30. 40, 50, oh wait, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, roughly. That's doing some calculus right now. Listen, I'm, I've am i had three glasses of wine, but I stopped. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I will be a little, a little slow tonight. I, hmm. It was a day. Okay. Are we, out, are we getting some drinks? We, we uh, you, you are all welcome to dr uh, drink on stream as long as you uh, abide with Twitch uh, TOS. Got some water. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Same. And as long as, and we've talked about that off stream before for safety tools, so I think we're good. Okay, the other um, hippogriff rider is a woman in monk roads, jet black hair, very nice uh, fair skin, and very muscular form. And she d uh, just kind of puts her hands out and you can tell she's a trained monk, but instead of like flying in with her fist or anything like she just puts her hand out and a piece of the wood flies up and goes to strike the Oni. Ooh, the Oni takes a little bit of damage. The Oni takes six points of bl magical bludgeoning damage as a wooden plank flies up manipulated by the monk. And then she is also gonna fly. Ah, uh, yeah, she's gonna fly there. She's gonna count on Naxine to take care of herself. Um, and that is her turn. And then she sees you all there. She's like, "I sure you're. I sure hope you're all the reinforcements." And she calls out to you on the back of her hippogriff. Uh, yes, is that would be us. <laughs> Fucking Zane. Um, okay. The Baron Dulac is a cloud giant who has his arms crossed. He's really, he's quite imposing figure being a huge sized creature um, wearing these kind of long flowing robes. He holds a wand in one hand and it kind of crackles with lightning. And he looks over at Nexine and he says, Oh, hello. Don't mind us. We're just here to rob you. It's no big deal. If you just set up down all your arms, we take care of you. Nice and easy. Okay, so just lay down your arms. And Maxine replies, uh, Maxine replies, I don't think so. And you can see her start to conjure her own spell. Uh, and Baron Dulac oh, goes, okay, well, I'm going to kill you now. And he unleashes a bolt of lightning. Oh. It luckily only hits the hippogriff because of... Baron Dulac, but you can see it takes a sizable chunk out of the hippogriff, and the hippogriff falters a little bit. 
And then he flies. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And he flies right over there towards the other other dude. He flies? Okay, this big this big man's is flying. Yeah, he's flying and casting spells. Uh, Aubrey, it's your turn. Alright. Um, I guess we're just going to take some more shots at the, the fire giant. Okay. Did I forget to put him on there? No, I didn't. Okay, he rolled low. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. That's... First one's 28. <laughs> yeah, definitely hits. Doing 10 piercing damage. Another shot. <laughs> Stabs him right in the neck. Second is a 14 that hit. Misses. Mm-hmm. Pings off of his plate armor. All right. Uh, I'm going to move over here. Okay. That is it for Aubrey. Okay. You can see Naxine, uh, the, the woman with the beehive hair and the silvery robes, she starts to conjure her own lightning bolt in return and sends it flying at the Baron. Uh, who actually fails? Get fucked. He sure does. And he will take 28 points of lightning damage. As it strikes into him, you can see he takes all of the damage. He's not resistant. <clears throat> and she uh, kind of taps her staff on the butt of her griffin and uh, does a little bit of a barrel roll. Five, ten. Ah, uh, five, ten, ten, eight, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Ah. Uh, she knows a thing or two about ogre mages. She's gonna stop right there. Okay. Um, Lucius, it's your turn. You can see this utter, okay. the utterly chaotic scene unfold. Yeah, I'll I'll mantle all of us. Okay. So we all get the uh, temporary HP, eight temporary HP, and everyone can use their reactions to move if they want. Uh, if I... Oh, true. Thank you. And eight, eight temp, yeah. Okay, so I used my reaction to move as well as my action to move and my bonus action to cast mantle. And then, um. I will cast Dissonant Whispers at third level on the uh, fire gen. Uh, I'm sure you're within range, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wisdom Perfect. save, right? Oh. Wisdom save, DC 16. As I uh, take out the. Uh, the loot and start playing something, but no one can hear what's being played except for the fire giant. 19. He succeeds. Uh, I don't think it's half damage. Let me see. I think Dissonant Whispers is just... Oh no, half as much damage. Okay. Uh, so that's 5d6. Yeah, it's half damage. And then they don't have to... But he doesn't have to run away or anything. Correct. So this is uh, six damage is what it is half. Psych. Like 13. Yep, yep, I see it. Thanks. So yeah, you say, send out that creepy little song towards him and uh, he's rocked a little bit, bothered a little bit. He's like, ah! Flies his hand, uh, throws his hand up. That's your action. That's your bonus action. at your turn? Yeah, that's everything. Yep. All right, everyone. Uh, t- Zane or Alyssa wanted to use their reactions to move, they can, but they don't have to. Same with oh, Aubrey. Zane, did, but, Zane, you're you're on deck. Did you want to use your reaction since you're about to get it back, or no? No. Just checking. Okay, because I want to get better about telling people when they're on deck. Let me try it. Zane, it's your turn. Alyssa, you're on deck. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, Zane will move. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, right next to Aubrey, and uh. What is happening? Oh, I know what's about to happen. Cast. Haste on Aubrey. Oh, oh, oh. And, uh, yeah. So we're going to need you to uh, shoot very quickly here. As you saw, very formidable foes. And, uh, yeah, it's his turn. So, uh, Zane ca- uh, conjuring this kind of, uh, using his uh, magic, places, I believe, oh, it's, it's range, isn't it? So you just increase the haste. Yeah. 
and Aubrey, the world slows down, and all of a sudden, you know Kung Fu. You get a plus two to your um, AC. You have advantage on dexterity saving throw. Your speed is doubled. You get an extra action, which you can use to uh, attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. And the attack is a weapon attack. Okay, cool. Um, is that your turn, Zane? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, Alyssa, it's your turn. Uh, then uh, okay. an enemy's on deck. Um... I'm gonna continue over. This is just like a cliff, right? A little, little cliffy. Um. Yes. Any okay. further down is a is a check. Yeah, yeah. But as long as I stay like up here. Yep. I'm, you're I'm just gonna stay over here. Okay. You're certainly fine. <clears throat> I'm going to cast down my snaky boy. Mmm. Death eater. Snaker. Snake. Snape. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm having like trouble. Like that Ten feet there, in front of me, still like there, going down the hill. There are now at least two snakes on this map. Oh! <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. At least. Did you want? Least. Did you want it next? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna throw him down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then. It's kind of rude to say that about Zane. True, true. Um, I'm going to my just Idiot. proc a level two healing spirit. Okay. Or sorry, level three healing spirit. Holy shit! Okay. Uh, let me pull out the healing spirit. Thanks. Um, where, where I won't put it. I guess I'm in a 5, 10, Your magic's purple. 30, 35, 30, 30, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sh I, my, I can't actually tell these colors. Never mind. I think that's purple. <laughs> and my, my screen is on, I'm red colorblind anyway, and my screen is on red mode, so everything's fucked for me. Oh, no. It's alright. It's a bluish purple, that works. Okay. Um... And I think, yeah, that's it. Okay. Fig Newton. Is that the code word? I don't remember. Uh, Fig Newton is, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, it is the, <laughs> uh, it is the Oni's turn, and the next turn is the Fire Giant thereafter. You can see the Oni, the Ogre Mage, has this, like, kind of long and muscular uh, uh, form with this kind of... Um, but definitely more of a feminine uh, presenting creature with long wispy white hair claws that are very long and extended and wears this brown burlap sack this kind of rotted potato sack um, uh, molded and has a glaive in one hand and has a most wicked sneer when it sees you um <clears throat> when it sees you uh, pull out the snake and it says ah witch your grave here from your body, I will learn many secrets. And um, they are going to cast a spell. Well, they're going to move first. Hmm. I'm not dumb. Four is also my thingy bobby's thing. Okay, you want to do the... Go at the same time. Right. That's Perfect. fine. I just, yeah, it's four also, so... Um... I messed up rolling. No, that's cool. Um, we we can have you can have it go first. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Okay. Oh, uh, let me check its decks actually really quick since this is contested. Plus two. It's fourteen. It has more decks than me. Uh, it goes before the oni. So go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know what you meant this turn. I thought you meant before next turn. Nope. It it rolls the initiative whenever you summon it. And okay. it goes accordingly. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright, so he's gonna... Shwabam! Mm. Well, his snake. And then he's gonna... Where is it? Restrict. Go ahead and, uh... That's a miss. Yeah. So it goes to trying to wrap around the Oni, and the Oni just kind of laughs it off and pushes the snake away. Uh, the Oni is almost as large as the snake. And now it's the Oni's turn, and they say those words. All right, how far are you away? Okay. Okay. Hmm. What would be interesting here? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, the Oni... The Oni is going to... I think this is right. Um, the Oni is going to use their action, actually, to 
disengage and fly away from the snake. Um, they are going to move about 30 feet, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And they are now moving diagonally. They're a, about 20 feet up in the air. Um, so the snake can, I think, still reach them. Um, so that is their action and that is their move. Let me check here. Yep. Um, and they're going to stop there and they just hold out their glaive and look down at you. Alyssa. Alyssa. Okay, it's the fire giant turn. Kaiser, you're on deck. Okay. The fire giant, hmm. Yeah, it sees what it needs to do. It is going to dash up the hill towards you, Kaiser. Okay. <laughs> so it just comes like tough. <laughs> Ch uh, charging up that hill. And it's actually going to empty your space, so I need you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Quit doing the Chad okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. Oh, okay. 24. Uh, that definitely makes it. So he, it, when he enters your space, paying you no mind, he does this kind of gentle little shoulder check, or just by entering your space, you kind of have to steady yourself. Um, and uh, you're okay. You're not knocked prone, and that was his action. So that's his. Um, that's gonna be his turn. <clears throat> Kaiser, it's your turn. Uh, well, okay. So that's really unfortunate that that happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can still do this. All right. Uh, going to just use commander strike on Aubrey again. <laughs> she is the carry here. Oh, wow. um, have fun. Goddamn esports nerds. <laughs> you add five damage. 18 to hit. Definitely hits. Okay, uh, we were talking the fire giant, yes? Uh, uh, whatever yes. she wants to. Yeah. yeah, the fire giant. Okay, that, that just hits then. So, 17 total damage. Perfect, thanks. So, yeah, uh, you let loose another strike wow. at uh, Kaiser's direction. It strikes the fire giant true. Kaiser? Yes, and I shall strike again. Using With your own attack. Yeah, using your extra attack yeah. feature. Ginormous, uh, and it's okay. Plus eight to hit. Twenty-seven. Okay. Definitely, <laughs> definitely might hits. hit. Definitely hits. Okay, so that's. Uh, okay, that's. Uh, uh, he's probably resistant to fire, but immune. Oh, okay. So I won't even roll that. Uh, seven, or so yeah, seven, seven slashing. Okay. Magical weapon. So you kind of point your four uh, sword, kind of taunting the creature, and he goes in for a strike, uh, and you dodge it to the and kind of cut him on the ankle just in time for Aubrey to fire a shot into his neck. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, because you're right. That's everything. Alrighty. Shalva's turn. That's the man with the dreads on the hippogriff. Uh, he sees that he is lined up to a cloud giant that's slinging lightning bolts, so he's like, uh, no, no thanks. And he is going to go ahead and fly with his hippogriff. 60 feet. He's gonna go there. Um, about there. And he is going to, since you are engaged with that fire giant, he's gonna make an attack roll. Ah, he misses. Uh, crossbow go goes wide. Ding! Pings on the, um... Ar uh, armor of the giant, I guess. All right, Zhilong's turn. Uh, hmm. They see that the Oni is advancing on Alyssa, and they uh, uh, put one hand up like this, and you see a little clay hand extend uh, next to the Oni. I should have had this so ready. Earth and grass. Mm, 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 mm. Internet sure is slow tonight, folks. All these people home. <laughs> True. You see uh, that tweet? They're like, gamers need to slow down. They're ruining the internet by eating the bandwidth. That's right. Gamers. Oh, I'm a boomer. Oh, geez, the gamers. <laughs> the gamers are ruining my life. <laughs> Those kids playing fork knife and whatnot. <laughs> You can't stream the great ba British baking show. You know, you know what? Actually, that was a waste of my time because the Oni is flying, so Jinlong is just going to throw something at, at the Oni. Ah, uh, misses. Damn. 
way to way to way to suck. <laughs> um, and then they're going to stay there. I think they feel like that's a pretty good spot. Yeah. Um, so the Baron Dulac is going to fly down. He's going to look. Oh look, more lambs to the slaughter. Oh no, whatever will I do? He says, "Where are you from?" He calls out to you all. No response. And um, he looks at Kaiser. <laughs> he looks at Kaiser and casts a spell, and you can see the air start to tighten and bend around Kaiser. Kaiser, are you going to make a, a strength check? Just a straight strength check. Oh yes, where I'm from. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I thought you said someone else, and I. Zoned. He was he was just calling out to all of you. Oh. Birabar, yeah, sure. Birabar, <laughs> all of us. Okay. Uh, this will be a contested roll. Strength check, right? Okay. Yep. Just straight, straight strength. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Straight strength, and that's minus uh, three. So that's 21. I th- so I got a 19 on the die. Let me double check. 22. <laughs> if it's straight strength, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they got a plus three, so 19 plus three, 22. Uh, You are restrained as the telekinesis grapples you. He goes, oh no, you are so, you are so tiny. (laughs) Guys are so confused. (laughs) And um, he is going to raise you 20 feet above the ground, uh, just within striking distance of the fire giant. I am in danger. You sure (laughs) are. Danger, 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 Robinson, danger. I'm just going to put a 20 on your blue. Uh, probably forget about it later, but it's fine. Lost, lost in space fair. Or what? Yep. <laughs> um, as that spell unleashes onto you, you are restrained. And uh, so your speed is zero. Advantage on attack rolls, disadvantage on strength and deck saving throws. Mm-hmm. You hear like a caw, caw, in the distance. Some animals in distress. Aubrey, it's your turn. All right. So, question about the extra action with haste. Yeah. Is that to summon my turret? You cannot. Okay. Yeah. Then I will use her normal action to summon turret. Okay. Ah, right, that's my job. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay. And then, using her bonus action, she will have her turret attack. I think it's just my spell casting modifier. If I remember, yep, plus six. I'm going to, going to attack the uh, floating cloud giant guy because he is casting spells. Yeah, try to that. break that concentration. Help! Ooh, that's only 15 hit. I'm gonna take fall damage, but help! <laughs> 15 hits. 13. Oh, I, I do apologize, Lisa. Uh, that misses. Okay. And then with her hasted action, she will take one attack against. The same target. Is summoning is summoning the turret only a uh, attack or is it an? A, 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 sorry, I was confused. She used the hasted action to attack, and yeah. she used a regular action to summon the turret. Okay. okay, and a bonus action to make the turret attack. Ah, the turret attack. <laughs> You're gone for one session, and I forgot how your character worked. Um, yes, yeah, so twenty nine. That does hit. That notice. definitely hits. For now. <laughs> Doing fifteen piercing damage to the. Uh, spell casting cloud giant. All right, they need to make a concentration saving throw, which they do make. Okay. Uh, yeah. Damage is going to be have to be actually a little a little bit more because they can't fail a DC ten. Right, she will step back slightly. And that is all. Uh, Aubrey's Whoa! Turn. Thank you, Miwa, for the gifted subs. Love you, buddy, Miwa. Oh, it's hot. All right, wow, two people oh, here. Yeah. One. That one. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah! Perfect. Not that you all, des- <laughs> not that you- any of you deserve it, but some of you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you uh, seeing your buddy in some danger, Will Robinson? Danger! You let loose a bolt, and one of it misses the turret. Or sorry, the turret misses, and the bolt finds some perches. But he is a hardy, sturdy creature, and he's not going to be letting go of that concentration without a bigger hit than that. Okay, um, Naxine's turn. Lucius, you're on deck. Naxine sees an opportunity and she's gonna go for it. She's going to move here and send a big old fat lightning bolt down the middle for these two giants. She says, hey, dodge this. <laughs> After he dodges the force bolt uh, left, right. So cloud giant first. 
And then, so Cloud Giant fails, and we'll take 28 points of damage, lightning damage, and we'll have to make a concentration, so saving throw. And then the Fire Giant makes it, and we'll only take 14 points of damage. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Uh, the Fire Giant's not bloody, but they've taken a lot of damage. Um, Baron Dulac will make a concentration saving throw. He makes it with a 27. Goddamn Baron Dulac. Yeah, and that's two lightning bolts down for an axe scene. Lucius, it's your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to use a bonus action Bardic Inspiration on Kaiser, and I'm going to cast Fear Uh once I step here, so that I can mm -hmm. fear the attempt to fear the fire giant away. Okay. Um, what's your d? What's your dice for inspiration? Uh, I believe it's a d8 right now. Okay. Check. Uh, mm. sure. Yeah, it's a d8. But uh, so yeah, so for for that inspiration and, and also the fear cast, he's gonna kind of play a creepy tune on the the lute and say, "The widow spider crawls and creeps. Her vicious bite makes giants weep," and cast this fear. Does he succeed? That is the question. Uh, one, uh, un momento for the Baron Dulac. Uh, yeah, okay, they're not. Oh, unless he's going to counterspell. <laughs> That's true. I was, che I was checking. I was checking. He's, a, he's an improved model of the Cloud Giant. Gotcha, I was checking gotcha. if I, I gave him counterspell. He does not. And by the way, Zane, you're on deck. Um, So, the Wisdom saving throw is a 12, so they do fail for he fails. fear. Yeah. All right, so he is... Feared, which I always forget exactly when the actions take place. Me too. But I, yeah, I'll just look it up real quick. Um, Thanks. I will uh, or drop whatever it's holding and become frightened for the duration. Uh, when frightened by the spell, creature must take the dash action, action. and move away from you by the safest uh, available route on each of its turns, unless mm. there is nowhere else. So on its turn, it will have to run, and then it can save at the end, but it also drops its great big sword. It sure does. Awesome. Amazing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little thing on this. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that was like a really good move. I know, I, I laughed because Tom did. Because Tom's... Oh, I hate Tom so much. I'm sorry. Awesome. Amazing. Um, I hate Tom so much. So, yeah, you see the fire giant get a look of fear in his eyes, and he's getting ready to run. Uh, is that your turn, Lucius? Mm-hmm. Okay, Zane. Back my turn. Zane, it's your turn. Alyssa, you're on deck. All right. Zane will... Uh, move forward a little bit and we'll try to oh well, we gotta check the range on it actually I want to chaos bolt one of the people here mm. I believe that's in range Bet yes, you it do. is for the cloud giant mm -hmm. uh, uh no <laughs> Tend to oh no. Yes. no 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 <laughs> get get fucked up yeah. Oh, jeez. Mm. Oh, I didn't say what spell, but I was going to do third level, so I'll mark off a third level. But Thank yeah, you. that misses. Figured you were to try to knock the concentration. So you still let loose a chaotic, a chaotic bolt and chaos bolt and chaotic. It is indeed. It just flies off, and you hear a ah! no, <laughs> not really. You hear Wilhelm scream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some farmer, lonely farmer, far off in the distance, dies. Oh, yeah. Unforge. All right, that is going to be the same turn. Let's we'll move one more step forward, and then okay. I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be Alyssa with the Death Eater to follow. Okay. Um, how high up in the air are? You said twenty feet for the Oni. So, so <coughs> elevation is important, right? So five to. So he's twenty feet up, which means. 15. He's only five feet up from you, like five feet in elevation. So and a, they're fifteen feet away from you total. Okay. 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 Um. They're twenty feet up above the Death Eater. Um. And then, can the Death Eater like what's like the lunge? Does it say what that is? Uh yeah, five feet and then bite is ten feet, so they can definitely bite the Oni, but they cannot. Gotcha. Okay. They cannot cons. They can constrict the Oni because they are they occupy 15 feet and the Oni's uh, technically still adjacent to them. So you can constrict. Okay. Yeah. Um, I am going to... Yeah, he's going to turn around. Okay. And try... Oh, I guess I'm going before him anyway. So yeah. it doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, you can you can switch him around if you want. Uh, They're your pet. 
Yeah, he can go first, actually. Okay, I will do that. More dexterity than me, so. Perfect. Um, so he's yeah, he's gonna come here and he's gonna grapple the Oni. Go ahead and make your constrict. Constrict. Check. Natural one misses. What the oh, f? No. Snakey <laughs> boy is not doing me any. Underperforming no. to say the Underperforming, least. Underperforming, fucking sneaky boy. Okay, then I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna radiant soul. Okay. Okay. As my action. Yes. And then I'm going to. This is awesome. Um, be upset that the other people aren't there, <laughs> and so I'm going to fly thirty feet in the air. Okay. So yeah, you not you you haven't done this since God when. It's been a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, since episode 10 or episode like 4 or something. Uh, at least since the ooze or something. But anyway, so you let loose your angelic energy and f take off. Uh, do you fly up? I fly 20 feet up and 10 feet this way. Back towards my friends. Casa, dad can read chat, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> Alrighty. It's the Oni's turn and then the fire giant thereafter. Um, the Oni just sneers, even though it has the, the, the snake adjacent. It is going to... It has an agenda, folks. It really, really, really wants to kill y'all. Um, oh, no. And you're all... Ooh. Oh. By us? What did we do? We didn't do anything. <laughs> Unfortunately, it hates all life, so... Um, yeah, they're going to try to fly. They are going to move, and they're going to provoke an attack opportunity from the snake. Constrict. Constrict. Correct. You can choose either monstrous attack. Does it mean it doesn't hate Lucius? True. Thank, thank you, Faye. I was waiting for someone to pick that up. Oh, Alyssa's like posting to Instagram. Can't be bothered. <laughs> what? I mean, I meant me. Sorry. No, sorry. I closed the sheet. You, you fine. Keep closing it. Twelve. Ah! Twelve misses. Um, I'm gonna double check, actually. Yeah, 12 misses. Bounces off of the chainmail that the Oni's wearing. And they fly forward five. Uh, they fly upward. So now they're 20 feet off of the elevate, uh, roughly, where you all are. And they're gonna land kind of rough there. Yep, there he goes. I am gonna say... Not me. No, not. I don't think they can get you. I'm 20 feet in the air, too, so... I'm 20 feet in the air, too. Well, it's Euclidean, but... Uh, Non-Euclidean, excuse me. Um, Zane, Alyssa, Aubrey, and Zane. Huge. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. I cannot with you, hoes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay. They are going to cast a spell for anyone who is curious. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> and they are going to cast Cone of Cold. So the, temp oh. the temperature all around you drops, and you just feel this sudden chill of winter. Alyssa, Aubrey, and Zane make constitution saving throws. Y'all got it. Hey, just uh, remember you've got eight additional temporary... True, ginormous. So when you take that 50 damage, eight reduced. True. I assume oh. my turret should also make Oh. Uh, yes, yes. True, true, good point. Probably a plus oh. zero. Oh, boy. The wolves uh, are not yeah. with me today. All right, it was a con save, right? <laughs> Look at the rolls they put in my other TV. It's a yeah. tragedy going on. Con two, save. Two, one. Ooh, y'all. Oh, wow, the turret saved. 30 Yay, turret. So, um, Crowen, uh, so, excuse me, Zane, Alyssa, and um, Aubrey, you take 34 points of cold damage. The turret takes 17. Hmm. As the Ouch. temperature just drops and there's a snap of cold and a blast of energy, and the Oni lets out a wicked a laugh as the just the ice just blasts the area. Is it turned okay? Uh, let me go double check its health. Uh, it's been a while that's since it's damage. Oh, I should have said its health. Can you let me know how much health, they, health it has? Oh, sorry, it has five times my artificer level. So huge forty. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 math. Yeah, yeah. True. We're, that's we're my nuts. healing spirit <laughs> concentration save. 
Thank you, Alyssa. Oh yeah, I gotta make a con save for Ace. Ace? Yeah, you yeah. sure do. Did you use it? Wait. You oh, con save. Yeah. Woo. Tom. What? Oh. oh. <gasps> you made it. Exactly. Crowing with a 17. True. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Ginormous. Actually <laughs> huge, though, because uh, Faye would have been skipping her turn. Um, True. <laughs> yeah, May, you made yours just exactly on the dot. Holy shit, you both got 17 on your con. <laughs> well, we yeah. both failed the other thing, so karma, I guess. God, 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 wor God works in mysterious ways. Um, <laughs> yikes. Um, okay. The Oni's turn, and now it is the Fire Giant's turn, who is feared. Bye! And will use his action bye. to dash. Bye! Bye, bye. sir! Bye! Wait, goodbye! Wait, goodbye wait, the everyone fire wave! Giant. Bye! Everyone wave! They wave. will provoke an attack for opportunity from you at disadvantage. Woo! Goodbye! Get him, Tom. Get him. Because he has to dash away, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> bye! Oh, what's the second roll? Day 19? Just hit. Uh, just hits, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll oh. just roll the 1d8 plus 5. 8 damage. Oh, big. The magical weapon. And Let's go. Doesn't matter when he takes damage, right? Yep, nope, no, doesn't matter. Just the end of his turn. Such a good skip spell. It's so good. Um, yeah. And then it's going to keep no, moving. Wait. He doesn't save at the end of his turn unless he's out of line of sight of you. Cor oh, true. Good Correct. Point. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, with being 15 feet tall and the cliff being 20 feet, he is out of line of sight of you. Okay. And you're not being at the precipice. Uh, 20 on the wisdom saving throw. Alright, he makes it, but he doesn't have a sword currently. It's next no. to Kaiser on the ground. He does he not. How big is his sword? Guts! It's, guts I'm trying to be guts. guts right now. How big is his sword? I don't know what that Weibo shit that you just mentioned is, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> you just write it. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> but but the, the the sword is it's too big for you, fella. <sighs> Kaiser, okay. it's your turn. You can't handle that much sword. <laughs> I'm just in the air. Uh, what do I do? Uh, oh yeah, you're restrained in twenty feet up in the air. Get, get hey, uh, Aubrey, have fun hitting the Oni again. I hope you have fun playing the game. Are you commander striking? Again? Yep. <laughs> I love it. So, like, he just kind of raises his sword very gently. <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> points to the... Hey, you want to help me out here? <laughs> 27 to hit. Uh, yeah, we'll do it on the card giant again. Yeah. And you have plus 5 damage. So, 13 piercing damage. 8 points of damage. Doesn't need to roll a constitution saving throw because it is a plus 10. It's, it's plus 5 damage from me as well. Oh, thank you. Still doesn't have to make it, but yes. I got it. Um, Okay. Anything else you'd like to do with your turn? End my turn. Slashes at the air or something. Trying to intimidate. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. You also hear more cries in the distance of a hippogriff. <clears throat> Shalvis's oh. turn. He says, "This is looking better, but uh, I don't know what we're gonna do." And <laughs> he fires a crossbow bolt at Baron Dulac. Ch Ch Chavez can't hit. Let Can he hit? Him. He can't. Need him to hit here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I rolled a five. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He says, "Uh, spread out." He shouts. And then Zhilong, Um. Although I don't know if you should listen to that guy. He, he can't really do anything. Zhilong <laughs> is going to deal damage against the Oni. Uh, they throw a spike of earth at the Oni. It strikes them. And they're going to... I think they're going to move up. Five, ten... No. Yeah, five, ten... About there. Uh, so, Baron Dulac and then Aubrey, you're on deck. The Baron Dulac goes, Okay, so this is where it gets really fun. So, you're very tiny and you're getting crushed, right? And then I hit you with the Wombo Combo. <laughs> Happy feet. Happy feet, Wombo Combo. <laughs> Oh! 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 <laughs> Zane just in the middle of it all. Oh, Zane. Uh, and they are going to begin to cast a spell. Uh oh. Yeah, good luck, bud. Okay. I wasn't sure if you're gonna counter. Um. I don't have it. Uh, who has that? <laughs> oh, no I'm one like, has counter spell. Uh, yeah, none I'm of my a, casters I'm, have I'm, it. I'm not a lore bard, and oh. so I don't have access to any secrets yet. And you can't take counter spell. 
or else true. that happens. Hugely true, actually. I need to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage. Ooh. Um, and I guess he can't really... We haven't really talked about the way lines work in this game, so I'm just going to play it as most people assume it's played. Um, yeah, they can't actually... They're like, oh, you need to line up better. I can only hit one oh, of you. Oh, it's a lightning bolt. Okay. Yes, it is. Who's he hitting? <laughs> he, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Kaiser. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he talked about you being smushed. Oh, true. Not wrong. Yeah, thank and you. And I have disadvantage, right? You sure do. It's like the height of lightning bolts. He's in the air, right? So even if I was in the line, would that, would that hit, theoretically? You're exactly right, bro. He would so, fall... But, if yeah, I fail. In case right? you're curious, in case you're curious, with a plus two and disadvantage, I failed. I, I don't know if you, you knew that happened. Oh. Take twenty five points of lightning damage. Bro, you good? Uh, can I, also, can I get, some, uh, get some assist up here? That's a foul, doesn't it? Bro, I got the entire fire giant off of you. What else do you want? <laughs> I am literally a duck. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm <laughs> a little busy over here. I think he also falls because telekinesis you have to maintain every round if you want to keep them in that oh, spot. Oh, right? huge, you're right. He says, oh, I did forgot that part of the spell. And you fall. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I just take, you take 2d6, right? Yeah, 2d6 bludgeoning damage. You take 8 points of bludgeoning damage and you're knocked on your butt. Bro, you're just getting shine dared by a Falco right now. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Actual. But you're no longer go? no longer restrained, which is a poopsie on the cloud giant's part. Um, and they are going to do something else. Okay, so they're like, okay, this is like fun for me, okay? <laughs> um, but soon the storm comes, okay? Uh, and they are going to go over here. And they are flying. 40 feet up in the air. 40 feet up? Okay. Yeah, we're about to be lined up. <clears throat> yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's move around a little bit here. <laughs> Hippogriff's turn that you can't see. And, ah, you hear some chains rattling in the distance. Aubrey, it's your turn, and Naxine's on deck. Okay, so I would like to move down, like, it's going to be off map, like, 30 feet. South? Yes. Okay, so when you so as you move south, you do see that there are treacherous hills and ravines. So it's there is this is up against a sheer surface, so you have to climb. Uh, in that case, I will just go left. You're you're in a pass that cuts between um two mountains essentially, ish. No, go that way instead. Okay, and then I'm gonna focus all my attacks on the Oni. All right, and you have plenty of distance, yeah? Oh yeah, on the Oni, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my first two attacks, I'll just do both. Oh, 13 uh -oh. on both. Misses. Oh. And I'll do my turret. 24. Hits. Turret OP. That is 2d8. I hope no one joins Lucius in the end life. True. Okay. That does 10 force damage from a dirt. And then using the haste action, I'll take one additional attack of 15. <laughs> I feel like uh, that misses. Pings off their armor. <laughs> I feel like this encounter would be over if Faye could roll above a 10. <laughs> yeah, right. True. <laughs> Hugely true. <sighs> Next scenes. Uh, yep, oh, so, yeah. Um, it is Naxine's turn. Where did I put you, Naxine? She is going to roll, fly over here, 5 to 15. She's got one more. Lucius is next afterwards. Uh, oh, she'd fly over there then. She lines these two up and uh, fires her last lightning bolt. And yes, Lucius is next up afterwards, left or right. Oh, uh, the fire giant fails, taking 28 points of lightning damage. And the cloud giant unfortunately makes it with an 18 on the die. Uh, taking 14 points of lightning damage, striking into him. Damn. And that is that next scene's last lightning bolt. <sighs> she breathes kind of heavily. You see her reach for her bag and pulling out a wand. She's like, okay, this is about to get real ugly. Lucius, it's your turn. Zane, you're on deck. All right, I will... Okay, 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 okay. 
Um. Okay. Okay. I will step. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Step here. Uh, and I will turn on my mantle of majesty. Cast cam uh command. So, kind of these instead of the horns that had previously arrived when I had done this, now it is kind of these decaying antlers start to sprout from my head and there's my skin starts to turn to this kind of pale blue uh, as kind of these like de dead leaves of autumn but instead of the bright autumn colors it's kind of just the, the dead of winter and just the browns of decaying leaves kind of uh, go all around his his robes as a mantle of majesty, and so I cast command on the cloud giant. Okay, they fail. All right, I uh, the twelve. I uh, tell them to grovel. Okay, they'll drop prone and end their turn. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Kneel before the winter's queen. <laughs> have to fall prone and end their turn. All right, is that your turn or? That, uh, technically I can have an action, but I think I'm going to leave it at that, because I, I don't want to attack him or anything, so I'll leave it there. Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. Zane, it's your turn, buddy. Things All are looking right. a little rough. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Who is who is groveling? Which one? The, the cloud, cloud giant. giant. Cloud giant's groveling. Uh, hmm... Zane will turn to the Oni and <laughs> I don't like that laugh, but oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the ominous laughter continue. <laughs> will attempt to uh you know, let's do a, a fourth level chaos bolt. Okay. At the Oni. Twenty one to hit. Definitely hits. Alright. Okay, for uh, 18. Oh, I gotta look at what kind of damage that is. Do 18 points of lightning damage. Okay, takes the full damage, slams into the Oni, <laughs> crackling all over their form. Alright. And we'll... I guess down and back up a little bit and that'll be it I'm ready Death Eater and Alyssa definitely muted hugely muted he's gonna move up there and he's gonna give him the old grapple crowd constrict yep they can still reach them 15 15 just misses god damn it snakey so boy sorry. Okay, oh, so then... Specific, sorry. Huh? For my damage. Okay. I forgot. I one more damage. I got it on there. So Alright, I'm gonna fly... Oh, sorry. You're fine. The snake lashes out and misses. Okay. I fly there. Um, you wouldn't provoke because... Wait, how high in the air were you? 20 feet. So you... Were you base to base just with the Oni just now? No, he was not in... No, he had just come over the top of the thing. We were not face-to-face. -face. Okay. Was, yeah. All right, just checking. Um, and, and then she. I'm there. She. Yeah. And then I... Bonus action with my healing spirit on Zane. Okay. And then with my action, I'm going to ice knife the fire giant. Uh, huge. Make the attack, queen. <laughs> Don't make their deck save. Oh. Level four ice knife. Holy shit! Uh, I actually have to like roll it. Derp. They got a sixteen on their deck save for the follow up damage. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Okay. <sighs> uh, but it still explodes. So it's f two. Forty six. Should say on D D Beyond. It says five D six, yeah. Whoop. 
So half, so 11. Is it half on a save? Okay. Isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. So... Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dexterity saving throw, yeah. Or day 2 d cold. Okay. Hit or miss. So it explodes, but the uh, it just goes too far wide, and uh, the fire giant is unscathed, unfortunately. Rough. Uh, uh, okay, never mind. But it, the radiance old thing, because it doesn't hit, never mind. Yeah. Damn. That your turn? Yes. Okay. It is the Oni's turn. They look over you and kind of sneer again. Question. Yeah. Because I was 20 feet in the air and I flew this way, how feet, many feet am I in the air am I now? Because this is lower elevation. Yeah. Um, 15, 20. Uh, you are now 40 feet up in the air okay. from your drop cool. point. Thank you. <clears throat> the Oni it has this snake to contend with and just keeps getting on this thing's back. It is now going to fly. The Oni is going to fly um, up in the air to get away from the snake once and for all. At least it hopes. Uh, so go ahead and make an attack for opportunity. Snakey boy. Um... Oh god, eight. Miss. Oh my god, y'all can't hit tonight. It's crazy. <sighs> 5, 10, 15, 20. So the, um, in a diagonal direction, the Oni flies uh, 30 feet straight up. It is uh, basically 60 feet off the ground for most of the party. Um, yeah. <sighs> they are going to cast a spell. Oh, no. Um, they are going to look at the people that they blasted with the Cone of Cold... That are yeah. left over, yeah. And they're going to say, it's okay. It's okay. Fall asleep. You're getting sleepy. And they're going to cast sleep. Um, so, let's see what this looks like for the D8. Uh, so, double checking. Zane, do you have 19 hit points or fewer? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Does the healing spirit, when does the healing spirit healing take effect? The start of your turn. So, yes. Uh, then you are going to fall asleep. I sleepy. Is You're that like, in concentration? Believe yes. On haste? You are in ca incapacity of yep. your sleep, right? Yep. So you would hit and hit, yeah. So the Oni just, um, look up something. Um, the Oni just, uh, well, cast sleep and double checking on the ranges and everything. Yeah, 20 foot, yep. So. They just kind of let over this uh, sleepy little song. Uh, I believe it would have been between you and Aubrey, or they tried to. Oh, no, just missed it. So only Zane is affected, and Zane, you are unconscious. Um, until the spell ends, lasts for a minute, not concentration. Uh, undead and creatures immune to charm or aren't affected by the spell. <laughs> huge, huge, Lucius. So you're just un you're unconscious for a minute or until someone slaps you. Yep. Okay. Sleepy time. Sleepy boy. There's more calling in the distance. Fire giant's turn. The fire giant is gonna come running back to where they were. Um. Oh, I moved them a little too far. That's okay. So they come <laughs> and slam into you, Kaiser. And you make a strength saving throw. <laughs> I guess I, it, you're already prone, so it doesn't really matter. True. Uh, plus nine. Twenty-two. Okay, he knocks you prone. I'm prone. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's his whole turn. Because he had to dash to get there. True. Okay, I stand up for half my movement. Okay. <clears throat> and I will... Oh, what a situation we're in. Um... I'll just hit the fire giant two times, I think. Okay. Uh, the fire giant is very bloody, very injured. Uh, and it's plus eight. First attack is 17 hit. Just misses. Great. Remember, you also have that inspiration die still. That is true. I just need to save it, though. Uh, second one is 23. Definitely hits. So, because these hits are not a lot. Uh, does 11 damage. Pretty good. Striking into a kind of, you do a little uh, kip up and uh, strike the creature in their, kind of towards their knee. Urgh! 
you see they're kind of bleeding through their armor. They're injured. I will, on that attack, I will uh, Wicked Attack. Okay. He makes a Wicked Strike. Wicked Strike. Actually, Menacing Strike. Can I change that after you yeah. order now? Yeah, okay. fine. Menacing. Menacing. Uh, uh, 12. 12? Okay, he fails. So I need to add more damage. That's five more damage of psychic damage. Okay. Um, on failure, it's frightened of you until the end of your next turn. Yep. So they kind of cower as you kind of step back up very quickly and striking, unleashing a kind of psychic energy from the... Um, uh, well, it, you're allowed to make it psychic because of the kind of uh, radiation from the Underdark that you've been exposed to. True. Fair and rays or whatever it's called. Um, okay, uh, is that your turn? Uh, I will use my bonus action to heal myself, and that's the end of my turn. Uh, From second wind. Second wind. Thank you. Shalvis's turn. If Shalvis could roll at all, actually, on trend he can't. Did, did that roll? He's doing it. Oh, He's he did. doing it, Peter. And he does seven extra damage with sneak attack. He does Let's eleven go. points of damage. Go. He bloodied the cloud go. giant. He bloodied the cloud giant. <laughs> You're doing it, Peter. So Shalvis fires off the hand cross bullet, stabs Bar Baron Dulac on the back of the neck. Uh, they unfortunately can't fail their concentration safe. Uh -huh. Zhi Long's turn. Zhi Long is going to make another attack. Hits the Oni for six points of damage. Another earth spike goes flying. They, whoosh, whoosh, they're kind of using this mountain against them. Baron Dulac's turn. They're like, oh, your friend is so sleepy. Yeah. He's, he's, gonna, nap. he's got a grovel. Oh, yeah, that's right. At the start of his turn. Good, he's good got call. Fall um, prone and end his turn. Bandelax says, oh, no, I've met a very powerful lord. And he flies to the ground and uh, uh, grovels before you. Damn, huge. Huge, huge move. Yeah. That's why I saved it. Don't worry. Um, and now they are uh, on the ground. They are prone until um, the start of their next turn, I guess, when they can stand back up. Yeah. Okay. I always close out of my initiative checker. Um, Aubrey, it is your turn, and then it's Naxine and Lucius. Aubrey, go ahead. Aubrey can't do anything because they sent it, so. True. Actual stunned. Fuck. Temporarily kind of exhausted. It is Naxine's turn. Naxine pulls out a wand. <sighs> and she is going to use all of its charges. She's going to cast uh, from her Wand of Magic Missile. She's going to just let loose on the Baron Dulac. Um, that is um, one and then six and then seven. So 94 plus nine. Huh? I hear that right? Yep. Okay. Making sure I heard that right. That's a big old wand. First, second, third. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's seventh level Magic Missile. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They just let loose all the charges, and um, they you see just nine missiles go flying at the Baron Dulac, and they're going to take 27 points of force damage. They are going to have to maintain concentration uh, with a DC 13 on that. They make it with a 17. And the Baron Dulac staggers as they are prone. They're like, oh no, this is starting to not to go well. <laughs> Lucius, it's your turn, Zane, you're unconscious. Wouldn't it be 10d4? Because you start with 3 at level 1, and you add it's, 1 it's, it's x plus 2. It's a 7th level. Uh, oh, okay. If yeah. it, it, it starts at 2, then it's not. Yeah. I yeah. thought it started at 3. It starts at 3. Yeah. Yeah. It starts at 3, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. So, since I can cast Command as a bonus action, without mm -hmm. spending a spell slot, I'm mm -hmm. going to look to the Baron Dulag and say, just go ahead and stay right there. We don't want you to stand up yet. And I will command him to grovel. Is that a bonus action? It's a bonus action with the so, mantle. So good. Uh, 25. Okay, he, he makes yeah. it. But yeah. um, And then I'll use my action to... Now, I, I, don't, I don't remember if uh, I'm allowed to do this or not, but can I still cast the spell as my action? Or is it... Um, because I'm maintaining this... But it is also a spell. I will let you know. Just can it's, you? 
give me yeah. a second. It's it, hazy on the rules because it is technically a spell, but it's it, you're casting. A, no, you ability. could you could cast another spell. One second. Like if you use Witch Bolt and use the action of that, you could cast another spell. Oh, after. true, because this is maintaining it. Exactly. Okay. Because you technically did not cast the spell. But on the turn that I actually do it, yes. then I couldn't. But yes. okay. I believe that is that how it works. Potentially makes sense unless Matt's got something else. You're still casting the spell as a bonus action. During this time, you can cast command as a bonus action right. on each of your oh, turns. Oh, okay. So, so you're still casting so, it. So I'm still casting the spell, right? So okay. you can do a cantrip with your main action. All right, all right. Um, we will... We don't have great cantrips. We're going to just use a vicious mockery on the fire giant. I'll say. Good luck. 14. Well, he fails, so okay. he's going to have disadvantage at least. Take 2d4 Psychic. Yeah. Seven damage. They're looking rough, and he'll have disadvantage on his next uh, melee attack, or weapon weapon attack, excuse me. Um, okay. um, am I adjacent to this guy right now? The, uh, you sure are. The giant? I am, aren't I? You he doesn't sure. have a weapon currently. Uh, he's right know. next to his weapon. <laughs> sure. I wouldn't be too confident about it, but... Yeah. Also, he's a fire giant. He can beat you. Yeah, he death. can also just punch me. <laughs> he also is frightened, so he has disadvantage. Hugely true. He has disadvantage twice. I'll stay here. Okay. <laughs> uh, Zane, it is your turn. Death Eater, Alyssa, you're on deck. I'm sleeping. Z you sure are. How, hi, hi, how are you? Z -Z -Z. <sighs> Hugely. Huge move. Literally sleeping on stream. Uh, okay, Death Eater and Alyssa. Okay, Death Eater is going to. It's when I move him, it's like this is five, right? Yeah. It's, okay, it's just, I it's like it ten. You go from like one frontier to the next. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess he goes underneath this guy because mm -hmm. that guy's in the air. Yeah, you can't, you can't really you can't attack do anything. Until... Dash. Um. Okay, let's dash. Okay, so massive snake comes up uh, next to you, Kaiser. Hello. Hello. Alyssa. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 here. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do that. I'm, go I'm tr literally trolling. Okay. So this guy is, they're both like kneeling down or just one of them is kneeling down? One of them is prone. One of them is frightened. Uh, the Baron Duloc is prone. Uh, the Fire Giant is just frightened. Okay, cool. So, but if I, all right. So I'm going to cast spike growth nice great spell. um so it's 20 foot radius and i think if i put it right if i put it right here it doesn't affect lucius yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah right here because it's five yeah. uh wait, one wait, 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 wait. one second five, ten, right here it's a 20 foot radius right yeah let me i got you okay i'm also dead so it's cool well Cool, thank you. That's perfect. So let me place it where I want it then, right? Yep, exactly. This is a tactical RPG. You can place things where you want them. Um, oh, Lucius is dead, he said? <laughs> he's, no, he like, is. He's, un he's undead. I'm, I'm literally dead. Remember we brought him back? Remember that? Remember, <laughs> Remember, that, thing? Remember that thing you did? Yeah, I just... Okay. It's okay. I understand that Alyssa is still not trying to harm me, even though I'm dead. Do you want to just get them both? You just move it up one more. Yeah. He's a huge creature. It only needs to cover half of his. Okay, form. fine, fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, that's okay if I do it like that. It could be there. Yep. Oh, okay. You got a bolt. Okay. Yeah, All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. Then let's yeah. put it there and not f super ouchy Lucius. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't, double kill me. Uh, my healing spirit drops though because yeah. that it's also a concentration. So I'll just move it over here though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That doesn't exist. Oh, did the healing spirit heal me? Even though I'm sleepy boy. Yeah, oh, it, you skipped it your turn, right? So it you did. still got healed. Yeah. Go ahead and roll two d six. Oh, wait, it was level... upcasted. Wait, wait, no, yeah, it's super upcasted. It's a level. You said three, three, three. which is two d six. Oh right. yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's every, wait, like every two levels for that one. <laughs> yep. Please roll. I think there's something wrong with the spike growth. It's not on Kaiser. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> My sneaky boy's there. I can't get Kaiser. Do I roll the 2d6? Yeah. Go for it. You heal oh. mine. Nice. Cool. Um, what was I going to say? I had a question. So it was your action? Um, yes. 
but I'm and then I'm going to bomb of the summer court. Oh, it is three d six healing spirit. I just checked. Using a spell slot a third or higher, they increase healing one d six per slot above two. Yeah. Above two, so above it's two, two, so it's two d six. So three, you have and it two. says oh, it on D and D Beyond. Yeah, yes. it's a level two. Spell. Yo, this spell sucks. Um, it just stays up its face. I'm just, I'm getting. Um, okay, so I think we're gonna. Who am I doing this to? I think I'm doing it to Kaiser. Yeah, we'll do Kaiser. What am I getting hit by? Uh, 4d6. <laughs> healing. They're healing you. Not oh. hitting yeah. you. He just assumed you were ice knifing him in oh. the back of the neck. No! I learned my lesson sort of sl slightly that being young is about straight, right lessons. Straight to the spot. I didn't hear a single word what you just said. Continue. Kaiser, here. Take this. Kaiser what? flinches. Roll your 4d6. <laughs> I, am, am I rolling it? Alyssa. Roll it. You're I'm the sorry. healer, Alyssa. <laughs> and you also gain four temp, because you gain a one temporary Ooh. hit point per dice roll. Okay. 16. There you go. Okay. So 16 and four temp. You heal 16, four temp. Okay, thank you. Okay. 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 Job done. No, thank Job you. Um, okay, uh, Alyssa, that's your turn. The only... Uh, oh. when, when they move... Does my radiant soul affect them if they try to move? Um, it will affect, I think, one person. Um, I can check. Can you read me radiant soul? Let's do it that yeah, way. Yeah, it says for one minute, uh, and once per turn, you can have one attack or spell deal eight additional radiant once damage per to turn one or target. Once per turn yeah. or once per your turn? Once per turn, but it says one Beautiful. target. I'm, a tr I'm trolling, so... Oh, no, that's literally how it works. So the first time they're going to take that spike trap spike damage, they're going to take that extra radiant damage once. The next person on their turn will take that extra radiant damage again. An incredible spell with the, that ability. Cool. Because oh, it's nice. once per turn, just like sneak attack. Awesome. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. okay. Wow, holy shit, that's so good. Um, uh, okay, uh, the Oni's turn. The Oni sees Zane. Oh boy, uh, they're gonna fly on down with their glaive and make an attack with advantage. Ooh. Yeah, and it will be a, a crit if it hits. Monka. Monka W with advantage, of course, against a prone target. Doesn't automatically hit. Common, common misconception that. Ah, uh, fifteen. <laughs> That's my AC. <laughs> they rolled so badly. Oh. You're going to take. Uh, it's a crit. <laughs> oh no! Because you're. No. Yeah. Oh no no. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. it was their glaive. Me. Uh. Can't wait till we're all revenants. Actually. Twenty-five <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> oh, it's exactly how much I have. Exactly. No way. Yeah, <laughs> exactly my AC. Exactly my HP. Yeah, just using averages because minus four times two plus four. Yeah, twenty-five. Yep. 26, okay. but same thing. Oh no. Unconscious. Um, uh, oh no. I don't know. Sleep. Oni's work, are you dead? Does the Oni have multi attack? I, maybe. Well, how many attacks is we'll the question? See. If it it's just two, he might be okay. Uh, that is going to hit with a 17. You take two death saving throws. <laughs> Okay. Yo, you good, man? <laughs> we'll good, see. Man. Yo, what are you playing next time, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Got another <laughs> character on deck, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These rolls tonight, holy shit. Like, no one can hit anything. This has gone, this has gone sideways. Um, okay, well, shit happens. There's a call in the background. You hear a snap of chains. Uh, Fire Giant's turn is afraid and has disadvantage regardless. They're gonna take a swipe at Lucius at disadvantage. Uh, they're they pick up their sword with an object interaction. Yeah. <laughs> and comes swinging. You hear like a break of wind as it goes to strike you. Oh, uh, low as shit. But let's see what happens. Fifteen to hit. Oh, that hits me. Uh, you take twenty-eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Unfortunate. Okay. Aim, please. You can see this fire giant is, you know. Do I bleed? <laughs> Do you bleed? Uh, you don't. That's cool. <laughs> cool. 
do I feel pain? You said yes, right? Yeah, yeah we talked about you, this already. I do feel You feel like pain. a dull pain when you prick yes. yourself. Incredibly dull, yeah. Like your personality. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My personality has been dulled. Correct, yep. So you see a hippogriff fly into the air. <laughs> calling out loud. Our savior. Uh, the fire giant gets two attacks, and they're going to be still at disadvantage. Who's you attacking now? <sighs> still Lucius. Oh, okay. Okay. They're afraid of you. True. Good point. Uh, same, same roll, 15. Yeah, it's, it's going to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> then he, I don't think he could miss me. He got plus 11. Uh, yeah, he'd have to try to miss me. Uh, you take 28 points of slashing damage. Okay. Oh, team. Are you unconscious? Or? No, I'm fine. I mean, you're dead. Who cares, right? Yeah. No, I'm okay. I had, I had, you, the, I had you, the temp HP. You and, can be destroyed. There are ways yeah. for you to oh, be yeah. destroyed. I can be destroyed, but I'm okay here. Okay. I've got plans. Okay. Kaiser. <laughs> Kaiser, okay. it's your turn. Shalvis is in the in, in NPCs are on deck. Okay. <laughs> you told yourself you're on deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I, I figured it, it lets you all know when NPCs are coming up. I'm going to take attack of opportunity from Fire Giant. So you can do that. Yeah, they're going to make it with a, a disadvantage, right? Cause... Yeah, just right <gasps> still. You double 20 that or what? No, but almost. Uh, definitely hits 20, 29. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that way. You take 28 points of slashing damage. Yeah, 28, yeah. Okay. I'm done I'm with double 20. I use my action to dash there. All that damage. Okay. And then I'm going to action surge to attack him. Ooh, because he's still I, prone. Yes, because okay. I have advantage. <laughs> all right. You have advantage like on all these attacks. Big brain. Look at the big brain on Kaiser. Strategic master. Strategic master. Strategic master. Uh, that I don't know why I did it like that. That is a six plus eight. I'm actually tilting myself by rolling like that. Fourteen. Yeah. Let me revisit his AC. Uh, hits. Just hits. Okay. So then that is. Uh, I should I roll the the fire damage, Matthew? You absolutely should. Okay. That does six mm -hmm. plus two d six plus eight. So fourteen once again. Slash, tearing then, into him. Second attack. Uh, can <laughs> I? How do I roll with advantage and not put pig away? Maybe I just do one d twenty and I copy and paste. I it mean, on. we can. I can see the two d twenties. Doesn't matter for me. Doesn't matter. It just looks better if I do it like this. Okay, okay. that's twenty one to show it. The the aesthetics. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Five, and then roll two d six. Okay, so that's... 16 points of damage. 16, yeah. Slashing into them, whoosh, whoosh, the Baron Dulac. They go, oh, that really hurts. Please stop. Stop <laughs> it. Uh, if he's not dead on my second attack, uh, I will... Wicked attack him. Sure. Uh, is so that makes a con save. Con? Ooh. Yeah. They're big boys. Their con is higher than their Plus bonus. a million. 24. Yeah, he'll save. But yeah. he takes an extra 5 damage. Yep. Wicked Strike is so good. So yeah, you kind of stab. You have like, uh, perhaps like a little, like in your shield, like there's this little uh, stiletto blade or something. You get him in the arm, it pricks him with poison, but he shakes mm -hmm. it off. Is that your turn? Okay. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. There's another snap of chain. And a hippogriff uh, comes flying into the air. And you hear Naxine call out, uh, they're a little young. He he didn't have any concentration or anything, right? Uh, he can't fail. There's not been enough damage. He has to take at least uh, 21 okay. points. Okay. Uh, 23 points. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he made it against Naxine's uh, 29 points. Okay. Shalvis' turn. Shalvis is going to take an attack at... <sighs> I guess the fire giant, and the fire giant's no longer afraid. Yep, the end of my turn. Unafraid. He's not afraid. Since he would have disadvantage against Dulac. Uh, I don't know why I rolled twice. Uh, he hits, and we'll do... How much damage you do, buddy? The Death Eater is threatening him. He gets sneak attack, 7. 12 points of damage. Strikes into the fire giant. 
And he calls out, he's like, he's like, things are looking up. Ji Long's turn. Ji Long is gonna throw an earthen spike. It's again, Ji Long is hogging. Yeah. They are gonna fly up towards where Zane actually. No. They fly down. Yeah. They are going to fly down. And they are going to use their action. Because I've been forgetting something. They are going oh. to use their action to pick Zane up. And put Zane on the back of the hippogriff. And then they're going to use their bonus action to use Step of the Wind. And they're going to dash away with Zane. 5, 10, 15. Uh, wait. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So Zane, you are now... Up here. Shit, they're kidnapping Zane. Oh my god, he Flashbacks. Okay. Happening again. Um, so she picks you up from the Oni, puts you on the Hippogriff's back. That is all everything that she can do. Um, oh, the Oni would get an attack of opportunity against the Hippogriff. Uh... Oh no. Oh dear. Hippogriffies. Hippogriff takes some damage. Uh, Hippogriff takes a lot of damage from the swipe of the glaive. This is a, it's a dash. Hippogriff is dead. No, but they're they're limping, so you can see Zhilong kind of settles settles them on this cliff side, so they don't they don't fall. Another hippogriff comes flying. Finally able to break free of their chains. Not their chain. Well, yeah, their restraints. Aubrey, it's your turn. Things are looking grim, but uh, the tide might be turning. All right. Uh, I'm just going to start shooting at the Oni. Okay. A few shots against that. For attack. Mm-hmm. Mm. 29 and a 14. 14 misses. Okay. Chainmail come through, Oni. Chainmail come through. So that attack did 16 piercing damage. Woo! And then she'll have her turret attack him, but it's going to be a disadvantage since so I think he's like right next to her. Yeah. They, she descended to swipe at Zane. and a 19 or 19 and a 25 sorry hit hit okay, that does 8 damage okay. and I believe I can knock it back 5 feet ooh yeah it's pushed 5 feet away from the turret bam goes flying back and she will move up 20 feet and that okay. is obvious here. Okay. Next scene's turn. Next scene. Having used her wand, having used her all three of her lightning bolts. Woo! It's gonna use a second level magic missile. So 44 plus 4. Woo! 16. Uh, against the Baron Dulac. <laughs> Slam into him. And he, you can see he is on death door. And they are going to fly over to um, where Zane is. But just hold on. She calls out. Lucius, it's your turn. You see okay. Zane's unconscious body with a huge gash mark. This, this messed with my plans a little bit, but it's okay. We're still we're still in there. We got Zane, this. Zane, you're uh, on deck. Yeah. <laughs> Two death saving throws. Make that save. Okay, Make I'm gonna disengage and get behind Death Eater. Yeah. On the ledge of this cliff. And then I'm going to bonus action healing word on Zane. Ah um, and the fire giant already took an opportunity attack. Uh I didn't even realize that, but I already disengaged, so it's okay. Uh yeah, you you good. Um so I will cast it at Yo Matthew, you wanna tell him or what? What? Second what? level. 
What, what that the uh, Oni makes it so you can't be healed or something? <laughs> Matt goes to check. Oh no. But they, they attacked you with their um, glaive, not their claw. So the, is there the something else? The thing I DM'd you about. <laughs> the healing word doesn't doesn't work. Oh, he died. Bye, Zane. Everyone wave. Is everyone waving? So I cast healing, healing word, word and it doesn't. It, I visibly notice that it does not. Doesn't heal Zane's body. Hello, thanks for the raid. Uh, he just died, I think. Thank you, uh... Raven. You've brought us bad tidings and bad Nora. luck. Thank you. Hey, Nora Enigma. <laughs> so good to see you all. Okay, well, I mean, that's my turn, though. That's bonus action. Action was to disengage. Th thank you for the reminder, Zane. I mean, that's definitely a call. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, my gosh. Why? Oh, my God. Why is I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Cause I'm so curious. Because y'all live, live for the drama. And you're, it's nothing within the in the. Yeah, I know. I know Oni has something. Book. So I, you, I, yeah, I have no idea. You did a great job. Saying I need you to make a death saving throw. All right. Oh, what, did he, what did he do? I'm so what did he curious. Do? What did this guy do? Oh, he's dead. Bye. Oh, bye. Everyone wave bye. Bye. Everyone wave. Bye. Actual bye, bye this time. Bye from Mirabar. Bye. Bye. Matt, I don't see you waving. Bye. 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 Goodbye from oh. Mirabar. Yo, play your sister. It'd be kind of cool, huh? <laughs> Death Eater, Alyssa's turn. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> uh, I guess it's gonna. I'm so curious. Bite this. Did guy. Alyssa bring Revivifor? Does she have no. 300 gold worth of diamonds? We bought it. Oh, yeah, we bought it. I bought, I bought a ton of it. Yeah. Yeah, last Cause, time. Because druids can pack with Revivify oh, now. We have the diamonds. But do we have the Revivify? That's the question. I don't know. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> all I need here. Cause oh, druids... no, because my stuff we had, it got added, right? Yeah, well, D&D uh, &D Beyond never added it, but I told you all you can just uh, pick them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, continue with your oh, turn. Wait, I, I'm biting. Yeah. 18. Oh, he is. Finally. Finally. Poor Death Eater. What is Sitch? They hit him, huh? 15 person. Oh, the fire giant is on death's door. Someone open the door. <laughs> what? <laughs> You got it? Okay. I made a pun, sorry, continue. Now it's your turn, Alyssa. Uh yeah. Um I'm going to level one. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going God. to level to nine. <laughs> it's like, oh okay. get rid of the fire. <laughs> um no, I guess I'm gonna Balm of the Southern Court, Summer Court. Summer Court. I was like, wait a minute. Southern Court. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, Kim Coda, brother? So, Southern Court's a whole different game. Uh, I'm going to give two to Lucius. Roll 2d6. So, 2d6 plus. Four, two, six plus. Oh, no, just nine and then you get the two temp hp who is this? oh who's lucius you said right lucius. okay make sure that's my bonus action okay. and then for my action i guess that i'm just going to ice knife this big guy again oh my god um <laughs> they did say it was a deadly campaign yeah this fight I designed, but I designed it in according to their. See how angry Kron looks right now? How insulting no, he is! Mad. No one's that angry, man. Absolutely, no lived. problems. Oh, uh, that hits. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't even think. Um, that was a level one ice knife. So then he takes one d10. Piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, why? What the fuck? <laughs> I 
Seven. Deck save. And then deck save. Goes down. I had seven hit points left. Oh, it's dead. Yeah. You can back shot it so it doesn't affect the snake. So it explodes, okay. and the ice shards just go in his eyes, and the fire giant falls poof, onto the spiked uh, growth, and you can see there's this puff of radiant energy. The fire giant is dead. Rip. Is that your turn, Alyssa? Um, yeah, and then I'm going to fly towards <sighs> where they're flying. I'm going to fly after where they're flying. Same too. Okay. Um, okay. That's it. It's the Oni's turn. The Oni turns to you, Lucius, and she says, <laughs> One more for the grave. Damn, he's flexing on you. <laughs> um, and the Oni is going to just step up to you, Lucius, and they are going to make an attack. Um, they're going to actually... Um, they're going to grapple you. I need you to make an acrobatics check. Okay. Acrobatics. Okay. Ooh. Wow, huge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How did you do worse than them? Uh, okay, I you rolled a three. <laughs> you are grappled, so they grab you by your kind of uh, your your collar and they gonna, they're gonna fly up with you into the god, air. It would have been sick if I hadn't switched out uh cloaks. So yeah. I, one, mm. one, I have one cloak in my bag right now that has an enchantment on it that would have cast fear at him. <laughs> So they're gonna. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah, Never... I do. But it's we in my bag. The... Yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's in my bag of holding currently because I, I swap cloaks. So you're now 15 feet in the air. They're gonna use their other attack to uh, attack you with their glaive. Can't kill what's already dead. <laughs> Can my snake make, make an attack of opportunity against Lucius as he's being taken out of his attack range? Oh, to constrict me. <laughs> Yes. A tug of war yes. with Lucius as the yes yes yes. Ah. I think I said one hundred percent. You can. All right, he tries. Uh, no, wait, because they're being oh, no. grappled and moved, so it's not by Lucius's movement or actions. Okay, fine. I try. Yeah, because technically spoken like oh, someone works. who hasn't been a necromancer. Uh, eighteen to hit you, Lucius. Yeah, of course. You yes. think you're gonna take fifteen points of slashing damage? Oh, you're I'm still up. Nice. <sighs> I don't like. It. I don't really like killing my players. As someone who who designs deadly encounters, I actually don't really like killing my players. Um, okay, um, that's the Oni's turn. They're 15 feet up in the air. They're slashing you as they hold you up. Hippogriff's turn. Hippogriffies, get them. Um, Hippogriff's gonna come in and steal the kill. Yo, chill. <laughs> I've been. I used everything. <laughs> Yo. It's Let's see it. <laughs> uh, two attacks. But then steal my XP. <laughs> Shake my head. <laughs> Six points. And then misses. Let's go! <laughs> so it bites the Baron Dulac. He's like, oh! Did I skip the Baron's turn? It feels like you did. Oh, I did. The Okay, I'll take the Baron's turn now. Okay, that's fine. Because the fire giant was up. I sure did. Fuck. Um, okay, well, alright, my bad. Um, they are going to stand up from being prone. And they're like, okay, this was not fun for me. <sighs> um, I guess they don't even have to stand up from being prone, actually. So they, they, they're they standing, uh, they're staring at you as they're prone. <laughs> Kaiser. <laughs> as you're like, <laughs> trying to stab them. <laughs> and they're like, okay, so this was not fun for me. I don't think it was fun for you. <laughs> and they're going to... They've maintained their telekinesis this entire time. They're going to reinitiate it. Uh, actually, you know what? No, no, no. That's not what they do. No, 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 no. That's not what they do. Okay. They are going to fling you. Is that a spell? Uh, no. They're, you need to make a dexterity saving throw DC... 95 or... Yeah, dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. Let's see. They're going to hurl you horizontally. And they're going to throw you through the... Sp I've been thrown. So they're going to toss you through the spike growth. Well, shit. So you are going to take... It all comes back to this, huh? Yay! 
<laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I believe you're out. Six, twelve d four, Alyssa. Oh yeah, roll twelve d four. Let's see these twelve fours. Oh, it's only two fours. It's only thirty-one. So you take thirty-one points of magical piercing damage as the brush strikes into you, and then you're going to take three points of bludgeing damage as you land. Um, you get flung so sixty. Thirty-seven. Feet. Yeah, you get flung okay. sixty feet, and because you fell, uh, you'll take. I'll say. I'll say based on the angle and everything, it'll be one d six. You take one more point of bludgeoning damage. So oh, 31, thank you. 34, 35. So you... <laughs> through the spike growth, they grab you by your leg and toss you. Um, and then they misty step. They're like, okay, well, that's enough of that then. Goodbye. And as they do, they set themselves upright. And they can now see that they are actually surrounded by hippogriffs. And they're like, oh, I may not get out of this one. This is a shame for me. Okay, you can take the, you can take the kill now. We're go get him. And then they're going to fly uh, over here. And they're trying to make an escape. Kaiser, it's your turn. You, been, on, you got me. tossed through a brush. Am I prone? I'm probably prone, right? You're definitely prone. You yeah, I'm definitely yeah. prone. Huh? Yeah, I can't really do much here, guys. Uh, wow. Uh, you could you could give uh, a commander strike to... No, I'm out of those. Oh, Don't okay. worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I am now just a man with a sword in this magical battle. Uh, Huge. 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, I can't. I just move here, actually, because I already used 15. Okay, end of my turn. Uh, did you want to use your action to dash or anything? Or? Oh, that's a good point. Because uh, there's still an okay. Oni up. 10, 15, 20. Okay, I move there. Okay. I don't want to get too close to Spectre, but I don't know what's going to happen. Hippogriff's turn, I swear to god, the chaos is coming. I want to get, I mean, like, I can't get to him, he's gone. They're going to fly over here. I'll just roll on the sheet. Miss. That does, that does hit. The Baron Dulac has one hit point left. (laughs) It's Shalvis' turn! Finish him! They you have to the strike, you've been charging up! <laughs> so, Shalvis is gonna fly over here and try to Let's cut him go. off. Cut him off the pass. 14? Yes, Shalvis kills him! <laughs> Let's go! Yay. Let's go! Shalvis fires the crossbow in the heart of the Baron Dulac, and it's. <laughs> and the Baron Dulac goes, Oh! I made an error! <laughs> He falls out of the sky. His uh, cloud giant wand uh, falls out of his hand and shrinks to normal size, crackling with lightning. <sighs> okay. Um, Zilong's turn. Uh, they are. They have uh, 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 Zane on the on their back. And um, they turn and they go, oh no. They say, oh no, I'm afraid this one is lost. Oh dear. And then they fling another uh, uh, spiky rock. (laughs) Something just flings Zane's body. I'm dead. (laughs) (laughs) Throw him off. (laughs) No. Uh, And it misses, unfortunately. Baron Dulac is dead. Hippogriff's turn. Hippogriff's gonna fly over. Gonna fly over there. Aubrey, it's your turn. There's an Oni up. They have your friend Lucius. They're choking Lucius, and they're slicing their be- uh, Lucius's belly with a glaive. What do you want? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> shoot the Oni. Pew pew. <laughs> Take two attacks. Okay. Twenty and a nineteen. Hit hit. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, howdy. So nineteen total damage for those attacks. Okay. And You're not concentrating on anything. Turret will pew pew. It pew definitely pew. hits. Getting an additional 11 plus damage. The Oni is on its last leg. So as they're holding and just like doing this like shallow cuts kind of slice back and forth kind of taunting you, Lucius. Um, there is this volley of attacks from behind him. You see him get rocked and they're like... <laughs> 
Um, and then it is Naxine's turn. Naxine is going to use a second level magic missile on the Oni. I believe the Oni does not, this Oni does not have shield. Does not. So the missiles go flying in unceremoniously. And they shout out to you, Lucius. They're like, uh, watch you fall. And you fall 15 feet. Okay. I'll probably be down. We'll see. You take six points of damage. Oh, I'm on one HP. Ooh, actually, one, actually, one second. Oh. Yeah. No, she doesn't have further fall. Never mind. Well, I'm on one HP. We're good. <laughs> Can you uh, end the spike growth? <laughs> I cannot believe that spike growth only did damage to Kaiser. Yeah, uh, I could believe it. You need force movement in order to capitalize. Um, I'm gonna take do. I'm let's just take a five minute break as the calm settles over the battlefield. I need to just uh, step away for a second. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll be right back, folks. Uh, we are back. Uh, thank you for allowing us to take that quick breather. Um, so they have just done an encounter, obviously, and uh, Zane lays dead in this lonely f hippogriff fortress. Uh, what do you all wish to do? Yeah, did you yeah. did you end spike growth? Can I move? <laughs> yes, I ended spike growth. Okay, thank you. It's not there anymore. I'm over. I'm over you now. I probably, I think Lucius would have seen what happened, and even though he's kind of close, he probably would just dimension door to immediately get there. Okay. Lucius the diamonds. Lucius the diamonds. Give them to me. Yeah, I'll give her three hundred gold worth of diamonds. Can you? Can you save him? Can you bring him back? Like, uh, like you did for me, but this time, don't make. We don't have to make the same mistake twice. Just, just bring him back. Bring him back. I don't know if I can. I've never done it before, but I, uh, I think I can. Yeah. I'll try. Just take her hand. You can do this, Alyssa. Give her the diamonds. And let her. She eats them. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't eat them. <laughs> you have the third I level. Close my eyes. You have the third or fourth level slot ready for revivify. Yeah, I do. Okay. I have the fourth level, I believe. Um, you cast yeah. Revivify. Zane, you see in the unlife a visage of your friend Alyssa, and who is just kind of holding her hands out to you. Full on angel. I'm full on angel still. Glowing with her radiant wings. idol wings. Halo. Zane's kind of confused for a moment, kind of looks around and sees the. Uh, visage of uh, Alyssa and she's reaching out and Zane hesitates for a moment but reaches out and takes ah. the hands of Alyssa and <gasps> gasps and opens his eyes and looks to Alyssa to Lucius who's right there as well and then back to Alyssa and <clears throat> How? What's what's happened? Is is Ari single alright? <clears throat> it is now. You died. Yes. Saying you were dead, I had to bring you back from the afterlife. I I tried to save you. I I try I tried. I my magic didn't work. I don't know if it's part of this new curse that I bear, but I couldn't save you. Alyssa, fortunately, was here to bring you back. <clears throat> Zane kind of falters for a moment, not exactly knowing what to say. And, uh, well, um, thank you. Uh, glad to be uh, here. It's what's not have <laughs> been a very fitting end of mine, I think, but... Are they all? Are they all? Is we deal with the giants? Yes. 
We were able to finish all of them, yeah, I believe. they're all... And that other thing. They're all dead. Okay. Zane You're not allowed to die, Zane. Yeah. None of you are allowed to die. Even you, Kaiser. What? <laughs> Alright. Are you feeling okay, Zane? Uh, more or less, I suppose. As okay. it certainly was an experience. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I, I I think so. I feel very terrible, but I mean, I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, are you all okay? Something like that. Uh... Yeah, all alive. Well, so is that Lucius. I mean, most of us. <laughs> Lucius actually kind of lets out, of a, lets out a chuckle. You know, I guess um, I'll be getting a lot of that, won't I? Just like that. It's easy. I don't know what to tell you. Well, uh, fortunately, we are able to be here or get here in time, I suppose. Um, who are who are you? Ah. Ah. My condolences. Very tragic of what's happened to Cotton's Fields. But, uh, my name is uh, Zane Korakai. I'm traveling here with my companions because we, uh, we seek passage to uh, see Iron Slags. Um, Zane will look towards the rest of his party. Yes, we're on. Here, with the blessing of the Harpers, to, well, borrow a couple hippogriffs or griffins, whatever you have to spare. Yes, I don't suppose we're necessarily in the condition to travel after that. So we appreciate your hospitality. Yeah, I will probably uh, be very keen to take you up on that offer, actually. Um, that took quite a lot out of us. And well, my spells, specifically. Chat saying you might be. Yeah, you're muted, Matt. True. 
Thank you. So as I was saying, uh, Naxine, Naxine says that I, she has not been in a fight like that since Golden Fields. And, um, and then she welcomes you into the camp. And uh, you can see that it's very well stocked and very well fortified. But that was quite the confrontation they just had. And thank you, Corey. For supplies, I would like to uh, inspect the corpses of said giants we had just fought. Yes, and she hey. she gestures and she says she says uh, she says you're welcome to any of the spoils of war. We're we're pretty well supplied here. Um, so the oni has a glaive, a wicked glaive. Uh, it's not magical or anything. Um, a cha- chain mail, some uh, rites and ritual uh, materials that are used commonly in uh, for certain spells. Um, basically, like a restock of material components if people were using material components. Um, the fire giant has his armor, but of course it's giant sized, and the sword, which of course is giant sized. Um, and but the duke, the, or excuse me, the baron Duloc has a wand of lightning, lightning Ooh. bolts. Excuse me, light wand of lightning bolts. And I'm gonna say six hundred gold on him. We'll call it five hundred since there's five of you, or six hundred, and 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 they take a hundred, so five hundred for 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 your party. <laughs> Is there anything uh, that would indicate why they are there? Maybe anything that might tie them to like the Zolto Duke guy. Yeah, go ahead and roll an investigation. A little I'm gonna say plus six. I'll take the uh, glaive for aesthetic purposes. Honey. Thank you. Thank you for that. 22, yeah, there is. There is a letter, a missive uh, uh, from Duke Zalto uh, commanding the Baron Duloc to uh, do his bidding. And um, there is also the first letter which initiated. It says, Hello, Duke Zalto. I have recently heard that you are constructing the Vondenda Death Titan Warmaker, and you are nearing completion after a decisive victory by your allies in... And it's like a very long letter. In um, Guntel Grimm. Okay, so... I hear is what I propose. The cloud giant's Countessa cannot get her stuff together. The hill giants are stupid, ugly, and dumb. And, well, the storm giants, hmm, they've lost their king, haven't they? So, what I am going to do is I am going to turn coat. Okay, and it's really good, right? So, I am a baron, you are a duke, so no problems there. And so, what's going to happen is I would, like, wander the countryside um, and, like, loot and destroy the tiny humans and push your lines of supply and war forward. Um, all I need from you is a little bit of support. I need like a bodyguard, you know, and and then I should be good. Okay, okay, let me know, thanks. And then in reply, uh, the Duke's also pledges a fire giant warrior to his, uh, the Baron's side. The Baron seems to be a bit of a cloud giant bandit. <laughs> kind of wandering the countryside, uh, plunging it. Um, and you also, there also on the Baron is the signet ring of House Duloc of Cloud Giants. And you, as most Cloud, cloud, cloud Giant nobility have, there's probably a castle in the sky somewhere that the Duloc family has. But you don't know where it is. Uh, after finding these letters, she'll show them to the rest of the group. Mm. Was mm. this his bodyguard then? Do you think, or do yeah. you think had do you think he'd already seen the duke? I would assume that the fire giant that is here with him was his bodyguard. Was the bodyguard? Yes. So he has already seen the duke. Yeah, the duke. The duke had a letter in there commanding him what to do. Oh, okay. I got confused. I thought yeah. you, it was only the letter that he wrote to the nope, duke. it was the letter to him, and then the duke replied. Okay. Saying, here's your warrior, go do your job. And you know that fire, I mean, giants, there's a lot, there's not, there's, you know, several thousand of them in the material plane, but they're not, they take up a lot of space, they use a lot of resources, they're very dangerous by themselves. They're basically like a walking uh, battalion of human soldiers. One one fire giant is worth a hundred human guards. Mm. Okay, yeah, I mean, we should get a rest now, right? Yeah, we've had a very busy day, and uh, not to be a, a overworker, but we 
We have a lot of work to do still, and we are on a clock at all times. I'm sleepy anyway. Come here, Snakey. Hmm. I just want to give a quick shout out to Swordsfall, awesome content creator. If y'all are not, anyone watching, if you're not familiar with Swordsfall, if there's any way in which you are not familiar, go check out them out on Twitter and the battle for the Supreme Jalen, which has been released. I hope I pronounced Jalen right. But continue, folks. Uh, yeah, I agree. We very much have lots of things to do, and we need to get our rest as quickly as possible. I agree. I have the wand. What was that? <gasps> Kaiser. I can. I don't think that's how wands work. No, I don't know if you can use that. Can you? No. The attunement requirements will be listed on the thing. Oh, let me look. I don't look at the shit. I just hand it out. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. What's it say? Require him to is by a spellcaster. She sure can. The, sta yeah. the staves are the ones that get picky. Yeah, staves and scrolls are picky, but yeah. wands are free use. If I took magic initiate, I could technically use this. Very huge, interesting. Huge, huge. I try. I tried to. Well, I'll, I'll message you later. I tried to add. Uh, the drow high, high magic feat to your character, but you're not technically a drow. So we have to remedy that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it the Wand of Lightning Bolts? Yeah. Wand of it. Lightning Bolts, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they, they have, you have three, three spellcasters, whichever one each one of you want to take, and anyone here, it's very useful, no? So. As long as you can cast it, I believe anyone can take it if they wish. Actually, all four of you can use it, actually, technically. Mm. Okay, you want to share it, then? Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll Not figure it out. Well, I, I think it's totally fine for you to have it. I've never had a wand before. Only played wands, and those are just sticks from trees I took in the forest. But then I had to replant them, because I didn't want the sticks. So, like, only on the sticks that were on the ground, not sticks that I took from trees, because that'd be rain. And I heard a tree. Okay. <laughs> Fucking man. Um, who who took the staff of fire? By the way. Not me. I have a staff. Staff of fire sounds cool. <clears throat> Saying to check it out if it's there. Yeah, well, we, we it was last that, session. I I, I, gave, I gave it to you at the end. Uh, oh, okay. Did you accept it from Lucius? That's the question. I don't remember. Bad I I don't remember. I think we were very cavalier about receiving it and moved on, but it was like sure. I had said, I had said that I was I had said that I was going to give it to Zane. We I we can just do that later. It does, maybe you don't have it now. Maybe you have yeah, it soon. Sure. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't remember that. I don't have yeah, it written okay. down either. The arc mage hand, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll just, called we'll just, it over we'll, and handed it to we'll you. We'll make it a scene here and you can decide if there you go. Yeah, make a scene. Set the scene here, yeah. Matthew. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, I'm not setting it, it's their job. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, because uh yeah, I mean, I, I I was gonna say that Lucius is gonna go find Zane. I was just waiting okay. for it to all get to that point where. It's... Okay, so night falls and you all make camp uh, at this fort as they kind of uh, reset the battlements and you all they basically uh, through the day let you um, they train you very briefly on how to handle a hippogriff. Uh, we're not gonna fucking Harry Potter this shit, but um, there <laughs> are some there are some notes that they teach you. But the hippogriffs are trained and ready to be used as mounts. And then night falls, and um, you are all kind of sitting around the campfire, swapping war stories. Uh, Alyssa does not go by the campfire. She spends as much time with the hippogriffs as possible, but we don't have to RP that. I'm just hanging out and talking to hippogriffs. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I, I speak to animals myself. I'm straight up just hanging out with the hippogriffs. I plan on sleeping in the hippogriff nest, if possible, with a hippogriff. Uh, yeah, they will like hang out with you. They love you. Yeah. You're a druid. Bet. Bet. Bet, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, whenever there's a chance for Lucius to just talk to Zane, uh, probably pull him aside and... Or not just find him, because I'm sure he wouldn't come if I pulled him aside, so... Uh, just find him whenever he's alone and just... Hey, how are you holding up? Hmm? 
Oh, um, I am uh, okay. It's scary. I didn't think I feared much, but I didn't think I feared death. But when you're there in the dark, it's different. <sighs> yeah, I didn't quite saw. Uh... No, it's that felt like, but I suppose now I do. The other side is, uh, I don't know, I guess it is just that. It's cold. And I feel it still. That same feeling that I felt when I arrived on the other side, that chill just have that lingering always I'm glad you don't have to feel that not anymore me as well did you want something or no I know you don't really want to talk to me I won't bug you for long just the archmage gave us this uh, staff Staff of Fire, I figured that's, I don't know, kind of your thing. Yeah, more or less, I suppose, yeah. Here, I'll hand you the staff. Sin hesitates, but reaches out and grabs it. Gives a nod. Um, thanks. I just wish I knew... Why I couldn't save you. Because I tried and I've never seen it not work like that before. I just want you to know that I tried. I want to see you safe, say. Even if I'm not yours, you are still my friend. And just nods. Nods a couple times slowly and kind of awkwardly stands there and is like looking over the stuff. Well, I'll leave you be. I hope that staff can keep you warm and keep at bay that chill of death. Don't want any of us having to feel that again. And start to walk away. Saint just like lets out a sigh of relief. It's like, ooh. all right. Just kind of like tries to settle down. It's like very probably like jittery and just fidgety. Keeps looking over the staff. Looks back to when Lucius walks away for a moment, but then looks back to the staff and is just kind of fidgeting with it. And settles down for the night. Hmm. And I would go to Aubrey. Continue. Hey, I feel like um, we haven't really talked since I came back. No, I haven't had a proper conversation, I suppose, yes? Well, I've been meaning to give this to you, but... I just haven't found the right time. And I'll pull my old uh, cloak out from my bag of holding. It's like the, the brown one that the inside is like the beautiful different array of autumn colors of like yellow and orange and red. You know, I loved this jacket once, but feel like it suits you more than I now. I would like you to have it. It's quite the gift. I feel like I don't want to lose any of you and 
this, at least for the time, can keep you safe. I have put a little bit of an enchantment on it. It's only a one-time thing, though. Hmm. I will gladly accept it. Thank you. I'll try it on. Put it on. Yeah, it's stunning. I always love that jacket. Suits you. Thank you. Perhaps someday you can even have it back. When Perhaps I find we'll, a way to uh, reverse what's happened to you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we'll make another. I can do that as well. Just if anyone grabs onto you, well, they'll be in for quite a scare. That sounds quite fascinating. You're going to have to teach me how you did that. I can show you. can maybe make another. At least the enchantment, that is. What sounds fun? Put it in a wand. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's something I've been meaning to do. That would be interesting. So well, there I any... to do that. If there's any spells that you want in a wand, I can probably work towards imbuing it in there. Yeah, for me, I can only do surfaces. Like, I could make a book explode when you open it. I don't have right. the capacity to do wands. I cannot make a book explode, but I can make a wand create an explosion, so... Sounds a bit more useful. Ah, they both have their uses in the right circumstance. Well, how are you holding up? Me? I'm... <clears throat> it's not my first uh, dealing with death. For the others, it seemed like maybe it might be their first time, or they're not used to it, but I've spent a good portion of the last five years dealing with death, so overall, I'm doing quite well. Well, it's not something I would ever wish that you get used to dealing with. Or trying I my, for anyone else. Trying my best to make sure that it doesn't happen to any of you again, but I've already failed. Yes, you said that you tried to save Sin and it did not work. Yeah, I don't know if it's a side effect of my condition or something else, but I tried to heal him. And it just felt as though it did not take effect. Well, I think <clears throat> everything that came to light, your death, has certainly affected Zane quite a lot. Perhaps a self-imposed curse of sorts on himself when it comes to you. I suppose. I Give wish I time. could repair. I wish I could repair what damage I've caused. Oh. I felt that um, we had become close. It seemed that you had, but there might be a rift now, but give it time. Time, after all, is a great way to heal wounds. Heal some. I feel like we'll never be completely repaired. There'll always be a nasty scar left. There might be one, but I suppose that's just part of life. My whole existence is, I guess, one nasty scar, isn't it? It's definitely a bit, uh, 
unnatural to the world, I suppose. But you know what? Everybody has the scars. Well, wear that with pride. For Lucius, I suppose. Doesn't feel like he's all here still. I will. And I'll also wear it as a promise that I will do my best to bring Lucius back. To be whole again in some way that is possible. I'm sure he looks forward to it. Waiting, looking from the other side, trapped behind a wall of ice, it seems. And only part of me made it past. Well, nice thing about ice is it can melt. I guess the warmth of friends. <laughs> as cliche as it is. Well, thank you, Aubrey. Of course. I will keep you all safe. That is my promise. I will do my best uh, to help you with that promise as well. Granted, today I wasn't doing quite as well. I was a bit off my game. <laughs> it's quite all right. You saved us many times. We wouldn't be here without you. Have a good night, Aubrey. You too, Lucius. We have a big day ahead of us. Mm. Lucius yes. will head off to bed. Well, <laughs> yeah. head off to Yikes. stand at the top of the battlements or whatever and stare off and to space, keeping watch, as that is what bed is for him now. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Um, you can see the next scene, uh, the watchful order of the Magus Mage, is Alma, she has a small little writing, uh, like a little thing, uh, not a writing desk, but like one of those little things you can set on your laps and write on, and she's uh, writing a letter uh, by the light of the campfire. <laughs> She says, I'm going to send these off to Waterdeep in the morning if anyone wants to write a letter. Are we all there? Yes. Yeah, this oh, is... yeah. Yes, uh, I should write a letter real quick. Check it on some people. Oh, you from Waterdeep? Yes. Originally, yes. I thought, yeah. You look like a Waterdeep. You. Keeps writing. She said, I was born and raised in Waterdeep, and uh, I trained as a Magus of the Watchful Order, and I got stationed at Goldenfield. Hmm. Okay. I just want to check up on some friends. Make sure they're doing okay. Write your letter, I'll put it in with the rest. She continues writing. She kind of pauses after writing for a little while, and she looks up. She kind of looks around, all of you. She says, sets down her quill. She says, you're the heroes of Tribor. I didn't think my songs had spread at all. Everyone knows about Tribor now. We tried at Goldenfield. Me and the others, the other two, nod their head. There are so many giants. So many gnolls. Orcs, goblins. We laid a trap. We thought it would work, but it only took out so many and we were over overwhelmed. We took the sky. We fled. These are dark times. Well, whether you succeeded or failed in your efforts at Goldenfield, from where I'm sitting, 
I'm looking at the heroes of Golden Fields. Just because we were lucky enough to succeed does not make us any more heroes than the rest of you. Hmm. Lady Chandril shows a shade, shades more comp, competent than the mayor of Goldenfield, unfortunately. The, they were deeply incompetent. Uh, I did my best. So y'all are headed to Iron Slag, yeah? Yes. We've gotten some nasty... Nasty reports about Iron Slag. I assume so. It sounds like a very dangerous place to be right now. Mm -hmm. All sorts of constructs and things guarding the upper level. You can only get in. I think by at the top level there's some kind of turning mechanisms. Our scout says some kind of windmill or mill looking mm -hmm. thing. You can fall in. All right. I figure there's got to be another way in, but uh, no one's been able to find it. If the top side is uh, an algo, maybe we could uh, go through the the Icebier River with with the, the hippogriffs and come from the bottom side of the mountain. You could try, but you want to be careful going through that river. Why so? She looks at you. She's like, "You've traveled the Savage Frontier, yes?" I have traveled the west, not the east. Well, it <laughs> it only gets nastier the further east you go because. The settlements aren't as strong. The armies aren't as broad. Not to mention the War of the Silver Marches took about every last garrison and defense post and training post out. So the monsters have taken all over. Also, the dead walk the plains. The Ice Spear River probably have ghost or worse haunting it. Hmm. But that's true. We haven't sent our scouts there. That might be the end. You should try it. I believe if going from just straight above is not feasible, I believe the Ice River is the easiest way to navigate towards there. Mm. What if we come from below? No one's... Wait, you mean Underdark below? Why not? We can't go in the Underdark. That seems like a really bad idea. Maxine says there's a reason that the Underdark isn't you know, that, well, not the highway. There is a, there's a reason that the Underdark isn't called the King's Road. It's the Underdark. You got yeah. Dorgalos, Drow, boh, weird, those weird gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, weird gnomes. Yeah, gnome. we know a little bit about weird he's, gnomes. He's kind of weird. Weird yeah. gnomes. <laughs> gnomes. Real gnomes, though. Good gnomes. I wanted to write a hippogriff, oh, oh. though. That sounds way better than crawling through the underdark with who knows what could come out of the shadows also I'm sure if there's an underdark entrance into iron slag they would have it well protected why is that what if they don't know about it mm. as far as our reports say that the drow are working with the fire mm -hmm. giants so I'm pretty sure they know about it so if you want to contend with a Contingency of drow from House Zorotha or Brethren or something, go for it. But I think the river is a better bet. It would probably be very hard pressed to find the entrance to the Underdark that is not already well protected, so well known about, and going to Iron Slags, probably. Hippogriffs, it is then. I mean, you did just fight a battle for them. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> True. Underdark could be fun again. I got that. I believe we should stay on the uh, the upper plane. In my honest opinion. Uh... If we are all okay with that, I believe we should leave very soon. I'll hand her the letter I had written. She's thank you. It's still the middle of the night. <laughs> I just, uh, oh, is this, oh this, have we've not slept yet? No, this is the campfire oh. scene. I got, I'm trolling. I got the music playing for a campfire, and I'm on my I'm on so my not I'm on my music? I'm on my sixth glass of wine, <laughs> fifth or sixth. We well, got through a little bit. Uh, yeah. Listen, it's been a. I had to. It's been a day. <laughs> well, yeah. My work decided to try to figure out how remote work works in a single day, and I was the point person, so I about died. Anyway, um, uh, uh, yeah. So she says. She says, keep doing what you're doing. 
if there's anything I can do, please don't hesitate to ask. And you're always welcome here at Hawk's Nest. Do you, you happen to have anything uh, supply-wise that we could take? Such as? Perhaps. We're very well supplied here. Of the explosive nature? Or <laughs> maybe just potions? She, she spits out her wine. She says, potions I got. Explosive? Uh, none of us use guns. And then the man with the uh, dreadlocks, whose name I cannot remember because I only like the character next scene, um, <laughs> Mr. Can't Shoot Shalvis, says, um, we've got some explosives. Maxine looks over and, like, turns her head. <laughs> she says, I'm sorry? He says, uh, I might have... He says, hi, I'm Shalvis Martholio, uh, formerly of the Zentarm. Oh, that's a sore spot for us now, isn't it? But, you know, yeah. you could have left that one out. He says, it's a sore spot for a lot of people, but it's different. It's different for me now. Maxine nods and says, I've turned him over. And Goldenfield, when the, uh, the Zentarum pledged to protect Goldenfield, and they promptly bailed. So uh, when Shalvis there lost all of his friends, he turned coat. Shalvis says, I've got, I've got a couple, I've got about, um, a pa I've got a uh, horn worth of gunpowder you could borrow. If that's what you're looking for. That is precisely what I'm looking for. Thank you. He gives you a horn's worth of gunpowder. It's somewhere on D&D Beyond. I'm sure you can look it up. It's a 3d6 fire damage or something. Uh, po 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 potions? And Maxine says, yes, I've got potions. What kind were you looking for? Um, we are going to the Iron Slags. Uh, whatever you can give us that will not leave you with nothing. She says, we're very well stocked here. She says, that is, the Harpers have been extraordinary at keeping us well supplied so far. It's early, mm -hmm. it's early in the war effort. Stock up on toilet paper. She smiles. Um, she says, I have one potion of fire resistance I can give you. Okay, take those. She says, I got three potions of healings I can spare. Okay. And, uh, well, that's about it. You oh. Any potions of invisibility or anything of that nature? She rummages through her purse. <laughs> she like pulls out a little old lady bag, little coin purse, sets it aside. Shifts, sifts through. Potion of invisibility. She says, "I might." She kind of looks up at you. She's like, "What are you fixing to do with it?" Well, I suppose once we get to the iron slags. We've got a couple strategies that we might need to employ, but I don't think the main one will be going in as all of us head first through the iron slags, running into fire giants. I think being able to go invisible is definitely going to be um, advantageous. Boon. She says, "I don't have, I do not have potions, but I got a scroll of invisibility you can borrow, and I've got a scroll of shield here that I haven't used in a long time." Both of which would probably be incredibly helpful. She hands them to you. Scroll of invisibility, scroll of shield. Very much appreciated. You hold on to those, Lucius. She says, I need my wand, though. I'm not giving that up. That's quite alright. I wouldn't take that from you. That's fair. Oh, can't believe y'all are heading to Iron Slag. Uh, uh, saving the world is a hard task, but, I mean, some people have to do it as the world is still here. We don't have a choice. I'm the chosen one. Uh, oh, yeah. That, yeah. Wow. Congratulations. That come with a cape? No. Should I have asked for a cape? Guys, I didn't ask for a cape when Someone... they told the hag told me I was going to be the chosen one. She's I like, don't you know should... if the hag has any ask for capes. She says, for one, never believe a ha what a hag says. Two, if a hag tells you you chose one, you should ask for a cape. Next time. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. For the next prophecy. Yeah, the next one, chapter two. <laughs> Big Boy sees in the sequel. Prof the prophecy. Um, she says, if you want more specific items, you were just in Everlund. If you have a little coin, the uh, Harpers can sell you the items, uh, at least at cost. Or at do least you, at a discount. 
Do you have a way to teleport us there? Or would we have to fly? She looks at you. She's like, you saw me cast the three lightning bolts that I had. If I had to teleport, I would have toasted that cloud giant and cooked myself some late lunch. <laughs> That's, see you. God there. <laughs> we really need to get to the iron slags. And while the supplies, I believe, are very important, uh, we are on a literal and figurative clock. Uh, ain't none of she ain't none of mine. I'm just saying, next time you're in Everland, if you're looking for items, use some of the coin you got. This Thank is, you. This is a little hint from the DM. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. Give you 7,000 gold, and y'all skip the shopping. <laughs> they gave us 7,000 gold? 700 platinum. Oh. For mirror bar. True. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who's holding that? Y'all, Zane. we play almost every week, and y'all are like, like a little bit of money. I don't get it. Zane's yeah. holding on. To He's holding seven hundred plat. Oh, feels rich, man. Feels Absol- privileged, man. Yeah, to feels, eat him. Feels real eat privileged. Eat the rich. Eat yeah, the rich. Yeah, y'all should uh. eat Zane's dead body. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, true. Um, but here we are. Yeah. Seven K in the bank. Flew right past Everland. I had like a whole thing ready, and then it was like no shopping. And the episode, I remember a long time ago, the episode where I wasn't ready for the shopping. You did the shopping, and I was like, "Sounds about right." Yeah, Yeah, that's us. Um. Okay. Oh damn, I fucked up, y'all. Um. uh, Okay. So uh, then, the with I think that is all the things I wanted to say with those NPCs. He introduced the fact he was part of the Zentarum. Yep. Okay. Um, so they uh, the night passes if you so choose. I so choose. Go and sleep with the Griffins. The, yeah, they they actually very much welcome your company. They they love you. They think you're terrific. I bring them snacks. And you awake the next morning with three hippogriffs. Um, I can add, I guess, their sheets or something. I'll do that later. But it's a hippogriff, as in D&D Beyond. We can use the mounted rules. Um, they are trained mounts. They're not intelligent mounts. Uh, so they can just, like, dash and stuff. They can move you around. Um, and uh, you'll have three of them. So two to a hippogriff, and then one person will fly alone. I believe I should fly alone. If someone would prefer so. Why? I need to take point and uh, scout out the of us. I am the most durable and the least likely to die to a trap or ambush. Okay, but only because I'd rather if you died. (laughs) Oh. Okay. Rather me die? Little son. uh, Soon. Not son. Sorry. Little soon. Someone had died the other day. You you are. got kidnapped once. Alright. Yeah, and uh, I'm still here. True. So would that. someone else like this, or I feel like my my reasoning is sound. It's fine. Yeah. You do it, Kaiser. Fine. Period. <laughs> fine. Period. Okay. Z- Zane Zane wants his own because he's pretentious and snobby, right? You know, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. Let's have let's have let's have Zane and Lucius fly together. Nope. Be like an anime. False. They have to. Reconcile. <laughs> um, that like, did it, did it, did it, did it. Music <laughs> happening. Yeah. So who's 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 buddying up? So hippogriffs only have nineteen hit points. Just so y'all know. Okay, okay. keep that in mind. They're NPC. Oh, no. They're NPCs. When they hit zero, they die. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. It's a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, when you fly are flying in very high in the air, things that travel very high in the air are more likely to attack you. Like okay. dragons. For example, and cloud giants and storm giants, um, and then so who's buddying up for the guess, all you guys? Me and Lucius. Mm-hmm. Well, I've got a way to save some the person with me if we were to hurdle from the sky. Um, oh, and you so do you, right? Yeah. You can, well, I can save myself. Oh, could you not? Can I save- Maybe hold. I don't actually know uh, if you can. Aubrey has feather fall, so she can. Okay, so she can theoretically save everyone, depending on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't help. I can help myself. Gotta imagine everyone's surprised. 
<laughs> Zane will go with either uh, Aubrey or Alyssa. Lucius it is, alright. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Lucius will go with Alyssa then, probably. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I, I wasn't listening. Lucius and Alyssa and then Zane and Aubrey, is that it? Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the five of you take up to the sky with your hippogriffs. How about how far off the ground are you going to go? Not super far. Not super far at all. Just like I imagine. 60, 30, 60 feet? Or, or like 40. I think okay, 40. just enough to get overland like benefits. Yes. yes. And then occasionally going above the tree line and stuff. Is that kind of roughly yes, it? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Cool. So um, are you going to fly to Citadel Felbar and make a stop? Or are you going to start to go overland straight to Iron Slag? I will pose the option to my party, but I will prefer to not stop. Well, if we'd okay. like, we can stop there, but uh, as I have said, uh, time is of the essence. It'll take you three days to get to Iron Slag on the back of a hippogriff, because you're traveling twice as fast now, and you're doing overland, so you're just going straight there. So you're traveling, like, a lot faster, so normally it would have been like... I don't even want to count a million days. <laughs> you went from like actual a, million. Yeah, like a million to three. So, um, Citadel Felbar, you can make it in one day if you push. So, who's the pose the prob question? Yeah. Well, I feel like we should. If it's only gonna take a day there, we're gonna need to sleep anyway, right? So we should probably just make it for Citadel Felbar and then spend the night and then leave the next day. Probably makes sense. That's fair. Yeah. Okay, let's go then. Okay, that's fair. Just want to check one thing. Your inevitable bonus. Bailey Stock of the Fork Road, veteran to return. Okay. Just making sure New Fort is in a, is in a good place for you to go. No, you don't know anyone there? Okay. Um, so you are stopping in Citadel Felbar? You're yes, going there? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you, you take to the sky and whoo, fly over, and in the better part of the day, you arrive at Citadel Felbar, which is a dwarven stronghold um, in the mountains of the Ravin Mountains. And um, it has this kind of uh, fell color to it, much like World of Warcraft, you know, that kind of green, mm -hmm. the green hue. Yeah. Um, and it's an otherwise uh, brilliant obsidian dwarven uh, citadel. Um, and as you land and are greeted by the Dwarven guards, we're going to go ahead and call it there for the night. Okay. Nice okay. Oh, you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Woo. That was awesome. Find out. Fell bars fallen. <laughs> mm, we'll find out something. We'll find Jeez. out something. Find out something together, kiddos. Hi, my name's Tom. Yeah, y'all can do your outro. Okay. If you Hello, want. my name is Tom. Hello, everyone else here. Hello. Uh, I play Kaiser, the Drow uh, fighter, level eight, uh, chilling, uh, slain giants. Uh, my actual name is Tom. Uh, I have a Twitter and Twitch that are Tomster underscore Hots. I do nothing right now, but when Valorant releases, I'll probably do something. We'll see. Yeah. Hug you. Uh, favorite part was probably uh, top top one was uh, Zane dying. <laughs> I think it's always fun when a character dies in a campaign. Uh, second top was uh, Duke. I liked his voice a lot. Reminded yeah. me of like uh, uh, I forget the movie. <sighs> Gold member. Yeah, 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 exactly. Actual, exactly. That's what reminded me of. And I liked it a lot. I love gold. <laughs> Two deaths in two epi three episodes. Holy Munka, Munka W. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Faye, go next. Oh, hello. Thank you, Tom. I'm Faye. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at It's Faye Bay. I do everything TT related. You can also find me here on Fridays at 9.30 p.m. Central Time for Big Boy Season. And my favorite... Uh, favorite moment probably the conversation with Lucius. That was the that was a nice little convo they had. Um, yeah, kind of missed a lot of shots tonight. Even though I have a plus ten to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally rolling five and below against the Oni, which is because their AC was sixteen. Mm -hmm. So you had to roll five or below. 
Okay. What? That... The, all the misses extended the fight in a way that I was unprepared. I was like, oh. <laughs> that's the that's the razor's edge with deadly fights. Oh yeah, the getting put to sleep on Zane, which then canceled haste, which then canceled her next turn. That, that added up for sure. Sure did. <laughs> sure, did. sure did. The drama. Here from Casanova next. Hello, I'm Casanova. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Casanova Hots, where I play Legends of Runeterra and commentate Legends of Runeterra. You can also find me on Thursdays commentating TFT with Crowan on Giant Slayer TV. And you can find me on Fridays right right here, right now, at at 9.30 Central. True. Dice Priori. That's not right now. Playing True. Playing Dungeons and Dragons for Good Boys. Holy, holy, shit. holy shit, huge. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, but uh, my favorite moment, I don't know, there's just like a, a lot of a lot of cool moments. I always like just RP talking to characters, but uh, it was it was really nice that there was like part of a fight where Lucius was really just controlling the battlefield of the giants. It stopped two giants from really doing anything. And then everyone missed for like two rounds, so it <laughs> didn't matter. <laughs> oh, I loved it. All right. Uh, but yeah, I guess, uh, you know, because he hates me, Kron can go next. Oh, uh, hello. You know, it's crazy, actually, the little addendum to the you know, being put to sleep and, you know, haste falling is that, uh, you know, uh, Zane didn't benefit from any of the temp HP from uh from from lucius so if i had the temp hp then would have had enough to not have been put to sleep and then would have had enough to uh survive the hit and uh yeah, yeah hey so no, uh, well but here we are yeah. and uh things happen as they did but anyways my name is crone you can find me on twitch and twitter at crone and instagram at c9 crone but i don't post on instagram that much maybe i should probably do that but uh, yeah, I'll be streaming a lot of TFT because new season climb. Just uh, hit diamond today. I want to try to hit masters soon, soon. Um, and yeah, favorite moment. Uh, I think the conversation of Lucius and Zane. Lucius trying to reach out. Zane not really ready to talk about it, but uh, he'll be eventually, maybe, potentially. So, yeah, I think it was a step in an interesting direction. So I enjoyed it. And May. May is muted. I thought I unmuted myself, of course. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm May. I play the Soliari, the annoying druid girl. Um. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok because I've made two TikToks. So I'm basically TikTok famous now. Nice. Uh, oh. At Maybe Buzz. They're all witch talks. So if you're into that, then, you know, witch talk me. Um, I guess my favorite part from tonight was probably. Um, it's been a while since I've gone full angel. Because I usually like try to save it for in case we need it, but I just was like, oh no, things are flying. I gotta be flying too. So, um, gotta have the altitudal advantage. So yeah, that was I always like flying around. Did everyone else go? Yeah. Matt. Hey, that's me. Hi, folks. I am Matthew Foreman. I am at Matthew W Foreman on Twitter. I'm a Dungeons and Dragons content creator. Freelance writer, tabletop designer, uh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Uh, you can catch me here on Dice Priori Friday nights at 9.30 p.m. Central, as you just did. <laughs> Tomorrow, I will be on Corey Hickson's channel playing Blades in the Dark. And on Wednesdays, I uh, run Ghost of the Machine, 7 p.m. Central on Dice Priori. And, oh, and on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central, I play Johnny the Magical Sex Worker in Dragon Heisters. My favorite moment, I am, so one of the things that, like, so, y'all are, you know, like, I, we've played now together for almost 30 episodes, which is a lot. True. Uh, but I was, I remember early on, I didn't really pull any punches. And then I realized that a couple of the fight. well, I don't know if I've ever really, we just don't, we don't have a lot of encounters lately. 
And but I was make, trying to make sure that I'm applying the same amount of effort to the encounters that I designed for Big Boy season as I do Ghost of the Machine. There's only so much of me to go around. So sometimes Big Boy season gets more of my attention. Some weeks Ghost of the Machine gets more of my attention. So I've been kind of cranking up the dial here, and it's really incredible to see <laughs> y'all are like really tactical. So like the moment Lucius starts doing his thing, I'm like, oh my fight's been neutered, and then everyone <laughs> missed, and I was like, I was like, what's happening? I was like, oh no, I was like, shit's happening. And, like, Faye just missing for, like, six attacks. I'm like, uh... I'm like, okay. Uh, but um, I definitely learned a lot from that fight. Um, definitely no regrets, but that was a lot of fun. And um, I think my favorite moment was just... <sighs> I think my favorite... <laughs> I love playing the, the Baron, but I, um, the Zane Lucius scene was, was, was tops. So... We're going to go ahead and raid Goldheart Gaming. Wonderful channel. Lots of great content. Go ahead and follow them. They're led by Leone Gloss and Gadgets, who is a wonderful woman of color and channel leader in this community who speaks out against all the right, on all the right things. Just awesome. So go follow them for their charity stream. So mm -hmm. see, see you, folks. See you next week. Yeah. Uh, another good part was uh, getting tossed through the spike growth, uh, <laughs> taking <laughs> over half my HP from an ally. As oh, 10. Yes. Friendly flyer. Love to happen. Yes, that was so good. I love that. Okay, <laughs> bye, folks. Bye. <laughs> uh...